We are back. Let's go. Hold on. Let me let me drink some water first. Hydration is important. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, who played first? I believe it was full. Uh, so, Emoto's played first here. Hold on, hold on. These played first, these played first. Okay, so Energy and FlyQuest played first. So we will be watching them first. Thank you, Lord. Hello and welcome, my brethren. Hear ye, hear ye, it is I, Right, starting game one. <laughs> and welcome to the special extended broadcast, here. the LECS. Hot off the presses, we've got Team Liquid and NR. Was a huge All part right. of the game. Away we go. Won in that one and two loss that Even they had against TL Whippo's in week number one. Even though was really I rough I talked to Whippo a little week, bit about the Skarner later on that day in Twitter DMs. Set. Just talking about like his thoughts on the champion. I mean, we're seeing Skarner, so right off the bat, it's going to yeah, be a great game. If the game goes through, the but game's going to go about as you would expect. And then it's not going to go through for the rest of the series. Energy are saying, hey, we've got an answer. But I don't really believe most teams when they say that. Because Skarner... All right, Pala Faker, what's he got? The genius midfielder for energy. <laughs> it's time to bring it back. Pala Faker is what the highest they do? praise the final I could surprise have heard. Here on so let's, the last hold on, let's I mean, see what this is. How, you can't really get Ziggs. too crazy because you're already versus Tristana, and there's yeah. not like a, a, you know, a, too many interesting things You know, things my mind, Ziggs is a, is a mid laner. Um, my personal favorite into the Tristana, I really do think the Cassiopeia, wow. more people should, should play it than just like the Cassiopeia mains. Uh, but is going to be that's the Yone here. Okay. That's kind of spicy, and that is that's one of the things we talked about. I, uh, I think Yone is strong in general, but I feel like yeah, I don't I mean, know, maybe that'll be rough really into Tristana early, Tristana, especially when it's even more so than this, usual. It's going to lose mid. lane a little bit, um, and if like Palfox can do a good job of like you know, I honestly love energy track early game. Then when, like, when it looks more fun, he has the It looks like there's more late game potential for to do anything. We'll Plus, see, though. he joins two higher tempo junglers on either side here. The Karthus and Zyra are both going to be farming at the speed of light. And we'll see which mm -hmm. one of them can manage to find the advantage over the other. Zyra, of course, is going to have some stronger gank potential early, considering she does have that hard lockdown. When you look at the lanes themselves, Busio also having a lot of setup if they want to try to make a play down there in the bottom lane. But the same can be said when you're playing. looking at an Ornn and a Senna on the other side. Obviously, both top laners have a, uh, a lot of potential to incredibly powerfully punish any sort of a wave push. <laughs> These guys are not going to uh wow, all right. to close to the turret. Yep. Way to go FBI. Yeah, no totally. I and love the glasses. I, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm just really excited. I think to see I think how that's exactly what I think we need. It's really it's really exciting to see that Yeah, I'm not surprised. Just, like, I, I really and draft is what it feels like. I think Yone is going to be a little rough into this. Trying to, like get the power on early on. Like play the game their way. Congrats to FBI on the 300 games You know, there. this top lane matchup's interesting. Uh, they both kind of like they can make they don't do a lot of damage. Well, they deceptively do a lot of damage. Energy, there's been so much talk um, you don't about think of either this team and about wise, it being but, like energy you know, summer sometimes. once again. Uh, even but though they the had tanky, a pretty rough could be a opening wet noodle to this 2024 summer. I love that term. Uh, if you remember back to last summer, which is kind of the origins and what they want to channel, uh, you Let's know, the see, success Leona story of how they got to really Worlds and then found success at Worlds. They also did you have a slow ever start going in that summer. On... So the coping mechanism is here. They're hoping <laughs> to, <grab laughs> to FBI, be able right? to use for energy. Slow start in summer into uh Wow, already getting Worlds some combo. pop shots on that turret off. Three lane view right now. Whippo with control over that top side was able to trade the third hit of the Q into Dokla. That is the one. You know, they were talking about a little bit earlier, but yeah, FlyQuest is just super focused on growth, right? Enemy. Very difficult to trade back into that one, even for as powerful as Kasate Great trade is. on Quad's part. Whippo's got that control maintained, that priority here over the top. Knew that Palafox is going to be queuing in and then, the uh, got a map, really great bot, trade. Top, while the opposite can be said of Inspired and that jungle Zyra. As Quad just trying Although to get away really from Power Fox as he uses the soul unbound for the snappy trades. And Whippo can use the East Wow, no, they did go in on Huey. Spot, go for his and recall, they're killing it. Wait, Huey's first so low. And Huey and FBI forced back underneath that turret. Huey down to 300 HP here already. Going to use the Whoa, what are they building? What are they, they building? Extra firepower a ruby crystal. Ruby All crystal. right. But these guys are just waiting for the wave to crash. Building more health. I think Inspired's waiting for the same thing. There was a couple of spells there over the wall. Doesn't get a whole lot of you know, value. Know support does sound good. The Besides the like whole kit. Problem. Yeah, I think they're. I think they're gonna. That, they're, just they're the gonna passive sounds kind of spicy. Probably try to trade times. one for one, if not one for zero. Oh. 
All right, let's see it. Busio's gonna All lead right. the way. Got so the cleanse. Oh, oh, wait, they're just dead. Blood already. Two, wait, four, they're just dead. What? Beautifully that was... done from the fly who did, so, who did that much damage? Was a Ziggs? Combo. Yeah, that was super clean. Immediately getting the first kill. I mean, they got Busio's the flash, to flash from... out afterwards, too. And they died from Busio, they I guess, but they got nothing else. The they traded two summoners for their can get back FBI to a, another and full clear. who he? This recall? Oh, can't get the recall off. That was beautiful. Uh, at least delays it a little bit, but I, 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 I really hope they show that again. From, that just was uh, so clean. I want to see yeah, just know, how it if started. If I get a double kill on the enemy bottom lane while they're stuck under turret with their minions dying there, I'm fine with losing my recall tempo. <laughs> I, think that, I think that's a fair <laughs> trade. Is that worth that? that <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was, there was a while where people talked that, about that like, was the seventh really well on the map for you. Yeah. We'll, you see, we'll see how much that's able to cascade in tomorrow. Because, you know, Orn and Senna, they're kind of okay dying early because they scale so well. They don't need to be ahead yeah, yeah, yeah. That's as good as it gets. It feels <laughs> great. It's a oh. double camp. Well, it's actually Ooh. not because he got the scuttle crab down. Look at those trays, time. though. He's just absolutely loving his life in his early jungle for inspired. They both have Dorans. They both gold. pop pots. Lippo back up here in top lane. Does have the tier purchase now. Still holding on to the teleport because he got the wave crashed all the way in. Oh. So he's able to cheat that recall. Asante's a little bit ahead in farm. stacking that tier towards the Fimble Winter that all of the top lane Skarners generally go for right mm. now. Licorice, I know you and I were talking backstage you know, before the series the, about the, trading the looking really rough. in Hell Fox is building the Fimble Winter entirely. Like right there in farm. Versus like, delaying it. Down like two Don't or three your farm thoughts on just at a general time. Skarner lane That's insane. That's really I mean, well played I, by Palfox. I personally Palfox. don't like it. I know okay. Whippo is someone who went for his last Skarner game, so I do expect him to just be rushing the, the completed tier item, the Fimble Winter, this game. I find that having just like more stats and armor or MR, like this mm. game it would be armor, is just more effective, but I know it's something a lot of players go for, and it, it does have a really high win rate. So, um, mm. yeah, we'll just see how it goes this game. Yeah, and it's so easy for, for Skarner to proc it, um, and uh, the extra mana definitely helping so. We'll see how Whippo is able to do it. I mean, honestly, I'm trying to, I'm trying to always look at the itemization. I'm trying to move on my personal building as well. I think it greatly accelerates how this well. team wants to play with them. Oh, wait, so that was such a good knockback by the Ziggs. I mean, getting an early lead and then having Inspire Inspire's back. Are they, oh, wait, they're going to run it back. And end up on the bottom side. Um, oh, maybe not, maybe to, not. To reassert okay. their pressure. I thought they were going to go for Tower Tap number two. Deep wards here with Busio to support him is right Ooh, on what track a chunk. with the fly class game plan. Yeah, I mean, Asante they have a lot of TP, pressure so here. Like, Zyra's in the bot side. Uh, Energy's scared of getting dove, so Karma's just coming like down. And back. instead, they're just going to push out the wave. They're going to go to grubs and start stacking those six grubs for the Ziggs Tristana later in the game. Ooh, Ooh. Flash out from Palafox here in mid lane, immediately losing that summoner spell after he had also Maybe just used his teleport to return to lane after doing his first purchase. So. FlyQuest making sure that he's not feeling great about his current state. Yona yeah, getting upgraded boots early is always your crazy to me. It ahead, makes a lot of great. sense. You unlock your support to get free time but to roam as well. Yes! And then your support like yes! tanks for you like a little Go Pokemon. Go uh, Going <laughs> towards boss. and getting the extra flash there. <laughs> Uh -huh. and you mentioned it earlier Proxying as well, Licorice, but the in a Grubs pro are going to be a priority this. for this team. FlyQuest, um, they're very happy oh, to trade just this stuff. Dragon for Grubs. And then, yeah, yeah so uh, FlyQuest got Grubs the first. three Grubs. They're the ones that chose uh, And I'm not surprised. Side, I mean, that. with Tristana so and Ziggs, that would hurt really, really, really bad. First Drake is also just a Chemtech Drake, not generally going to be considered one of those super high priority ones. So FlyQuest loving the way things are going here. 1.7 thousand gold lead, seven minutes into the game. Wow, yeah. I mean, they got the double kill bot. It's not, situation it's not overly surprising. For energy to find themselves in. You can see some very slight farm advantages pretty much across the board for the FlyQuest side here. Not even a full wave anywhere in particular. So it's not like you they're know, I'm really excited to see it, how this. It is showing that everything's perfectly fine here in the state of the lane. How this kind of Tristana tries to get a little bit of value here out of the soul. It goes up against the Yoni mid late. I actually think I'd rather contracts trying to make oh, sure Oh wait, what a great engage. Here, but he might be in some trouble. Has oh, to contracts away. barely arm, makes it out. Shouldn't kill him? Well, I don't think. Out. Yep. Okay. The wolves might, but <laughs> the wolves will not kill. Finish what ignites start. What I was gonna say he is, uh, I think Palfox is really favored late game. I'm curious wolves, at what point one, it's going to hit go that for the big one. that moment where Palfox yeah, is just that much more impactful the than Quad. Taking away his camps, this is gonna feel really, really bad. I mean, Tristan is really strong late game as well. What an engage! Meanwhile, Palfox is Quad time to jump in quickly. Not going the way of Flyquest. Carthasol's coming down. The Requiem sounds off, and it's gonna be who he's. 
Jeez, you, he had you, that was so much damage. Six feet deep in the river. We already finally Ornhorn, here get indeed. To see some of the power of the ultimates and the super long range coming through. Uh, Quad just gets run over by the train there. The you combo, know, if, uh, Quad, uh, Quad just timed that jump a little bit early and the owl stopped. But that was being really able to well done these, by Pal uh, Fox contracts. And, and that was the whole goal. Timing into all those ults, that was really well done. This uh, team composition. Yeah, I mean, this This is the power of their team comp in action. Although, if I'm contracts here, I'm going to be a little upset because I didn't even get an assist on that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't get an assist! Just, oh, dude, no, Huey's ult did so much down. damage. Oh. It didn't get there. The Ornhorn oh. ran him over, but now Inspired's about to get Wow, Inspired! Inspired, what was that? Wait, wait, wait! Wait, the credit, so they're going to trade back. Like contracts is obviously dead here, yeah. As both junglers drop dead. I seemed a little... Yeah, it, a little I mean, aggressive. that always really hurts because if I you're running Dark I would have actually seen that again. Yeah, no, you really you really want the like the ultimate stacks and the dark harvest stacks, uh, but honestly well, this game is on not him. looking too bad there. for energy here. I know like the Fox knows is what behind, he wants. but I'm I mean, loving Ziggs the Proxies! Like, he's gonna wave clear the wave no matter what. And their win condition is definitely online. Palfox looks like he's doing really well in this lane, and it's only gonna get harder for quad as the game goes on. Palafox with his double buffs as well. Yone can be such a difficult champion to deal with in so many situations, and that's just going to make it uh, even more of a problem. Th th now this feels energy. really rough for Quad. So it's around level 8 where it really looks like Quad isn't going to be able to compete Leona, with Palafox here. Six, still doesn't have just like champion-wise, Yone really, really is going to start hurting here. Quest. Be looking and I'm not saying Tristana doesn't, but this. I said how much like I slightly like different levels. This this pick during the draft, and I'm liking the, the way they use it so far. He has 100% kill participation. Yeah. No, I I think the next the next thing that's going to be like really interesting to see is the grubs are coming up in a minute, and yeah. there's a lot of pressure on energy because giving six grubs to this team comp is really hard. But I don't know if if the Ziggs mm. and Leona are there, it's going to be really really hard for them to fight. So this might be where the game either breaks open or you know it's really surprising to, we'll see to see just what the yeah farm lead still from Zyra. Flash from the I mean Zyra farms that they oh he missed again on it. him. And who he there, no flash as well. Right? So looks right, I'm not the only one who saw that. I'm pretty really sure he missed a gander there. That's now. heartbreaking. Okay. Oh. Chilling. Oh, that's really heartbreaking. Yeah, it looks like they're going to move up. Uh, but I mean, yeah, no, if, I, I mean, Carter's form is really fast. If you can, you want to test these drugs. So I think that's, I'm expecting them to at least poke around and see what they can do. But Busio's already found a really nice flank angle in the enemy jungle. And, and lots of vision, so they'll see them coming for sure. Feeling good about that one. The other big thing that I'm looking at uh, here, Busio Busio has the deep. first fully completed major item of the game in the Hollow Radiance that just got purchased for his Orn. Could be a difference Oh, but it looks like it looks like Energy's bringing everyone. Truly chaotic. They're leaving Ziggs Busio. alone. They said, oh, all right, you get some plates. Bwipo, they really don't feel comfortable up. giving Asante, up these uh, level nine, grubs. Both having the Flash, both having the ulti. Dokla doesn't have a lot of mana to work with, but it really doesn't matter once it goes all out. Energy going to start yeah. up the Grubs, and it looks like FlyQuest is nowhere nearby to challenge for him. Yeah, they were pinging pretty early on there for a bottom lane for Masu to go Okay, for so Zig should not be able so to get the They decided to pay the just yet. with turret plates it's here kind of close, and though. see how many turret plates they can get. Yeah, uh, I mean, he's going to get the whole tower here. His W is going to be online in a second, so that's that's a full bot tower for Grubs. Oh, wait! I think, wait, actually, honestly, that's insane! I'd be happy with on either side of this team. Ooh! Maybe not. Teleport oh, from Oh, wait, it actually... Okay, the turret will I thought, it, I thought it only did one uh, plate of damage. There's not really anything in the tank for That's Masu. interesting. The out of mana Ziggs isn't a whole lot of a threat. Can get clapped around a little bit here. Oh, the Requiem summoned I think they're okay contract. with that, though. They got bot side turret out. already. <laughs> yeah, And they also no, got the I'm, first I'm turret sure who he took that one, he would have been really upset. So, who <laughs> 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 he looked like he was being really careful there with the spells and the autos. <laughs> But yeah, no, I think, I mean, this this game state actually looks really good for you know, having Like, the having top lane is TPs going well. Seems so uh, Dokla strong. actually has a bit of a CS lead, even though he's I mean, down a little bit I mean, both teams have gold. three TPs, but... Um, and, like, oh, just the amount of TPs into, like, the going around, the lane, being able to punish anyone who steps a little bit too far forward. In, in, like, being able to run this game. Helps when you also Might have Karthus be ult. hard to defend a dragon with their tower gone here, though, so maybe FlyQuest, uh, as they try and take over the jungle, can get a... A better setup, but looks like we have the full reset coming from energy okay, heading right back down mid lane. So the choice is theirs. I like the decision bit, there from Masu. He knows there, he's but not he going to be play. able to hit the Yone because he's so fast and soul unbound. So just immediately blast the wave and force him to recall back to his his corporeal form anyway. As Dokla wanted to you go know, for Bruno a has there. been one of the nice things about Skarner. Really, the, really the keeping up with this. The uh, There's this a lot of nice things, but one of them is the amount of game states and situations that you can interact with compared I to the old one. Old honestly, Skarner doesn't really get to stop people. Sansi's going to be a lot scarier late game though. Oh, Skarner could throw a rock at you. He could use his W. That was so quick. There's so many ways that you can just. I know he was expecting him. That was, that was really quick now. movement. And we'll see Bwipo trying to take a recall right. there, but this now it's going to be a dive FBI. on Skarner. I've not seen one of these go well so far. Busio's on the way. 
Oh, uh, so they can't they just didn't have the wave state for the, for the energy side. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna back and, off. And uh, Bubba has TP. Yeah. Now they they were just trying to get something in in uh, in exchange for the dragon that they're giving up here, and you know. Scarlet Ooh, actually, this got a dangerous no TP back in TP for Bubba. So. so we got our answer to the question that we were asking earlier, which is how is Bwipo going to play this in terms of the itemization? And it looks like it's just the early tier, then into the Sunfire Cape for the extra laning power. You know, I, remember, I, I, I will have to play some nerfs, Skarner top and try the uh, same tier I that it might have used to have been. I haven't, like, but played it, so I don't know how good it is. it's effective for him to be able to continue and to what, trade what it this Cassandra. feels different does compared have to, like, going with the coach to go and just, like, Sunfire. Yeah, no, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of this build from Bwipo. It just gives him a lot more early power, where, like, when you finish the tier item and it's not even fully stacked and you don't have the passive, it just feels like like you have this really weak period of the game where even though you're playing this like really strong S tier, S stands for Skarner champion. Yes, I like <laughs> that, I like Skarner. that. Um, that you're not actually that strong when your tier item isn't finished. So really like this build and it looks like FlyQuest might be looking for a pick on Palafox bot lane. Yeah, Palafox really wanting to shove this wave all the way up. Yuna can get Quad's out of here show here first. Palafox is level 11, Quad's only level 10. Does. Oh, Fate Sealed is not gonna get him over the wall because nope. Quad jumps in the way to cut the distance short. Now Busio's ready for the lockup and Palafox is ready for the beatdown. Really, really well Quad played getting by his uh, second kill of the game. Down. Yeah, nice interception there from Quad. He knows exactly sorry, what Palafox is going for on the escape route. Jumps in, gets the kill. Is going to be at the cost of top side objective in Rift Herald here. But honestly, to keep that Tristana split pushing on bottom side, just shove all the way up to secondary tower here. And FlyQuest also getting access to the Ziggs in mid lane. This tower is going down quickly too. That one's going to explode. Just about to get... The wow, double he is. demolitionists are doing their jobs. That's, Fly quest that's is so dirty, dirty man. Gold. With Ziggs and Tristana on the so t on the same team, the turrets are just absolute paper. Where is my all nice Gordle comp? Fly quest getting themselves up to a two thousand. Seeing the Ziggs, now. seeing Tristana, we have the Poppy. We know like Poppy's in good. In a lot of games of League of Legends, you see one side prioritize one, one side prioritizes the other. This time around, it is the perfect mm. handshake. One Drake for one Drake. Bigger going mid, maybe. Grubs. No real discernible advantages to be found there. Fly quest with the plus one on the kills. And they can go on top. Gold that they have in terms of the advantage is jungle. just exactly those two Where's turns, my all right? yeah. Yordle and I, and I do actually really like how FlyQuest has, is playing this game out. Like, it feels like their answer to the Karthus Senna sideline pressure is that they have Ziggs and he just wave clears mid alone, and then the rest <laughs> of the team just plays around the side laner. So it's like, yeah, you have Karthus and Senna ult coming in, but Leona's there, and so is Zyra. Okay. Whippo using the Ishtal impact to bring Dokla a little bit closer to his Let's side see. of the ramp. Quads Wait! Quad shows up here with a TP. Wait, Dokla's Quad might be punished. Really, really out. bad here. The Skarner ult, he's not gonna work. Wow, Dokla Quad got really, really punished. Taking the kill and Dokla's still fighting. Whippo like, yeah, they're gonna... Board. Dokla tries to get away. The rock will not connect. Whippo tries to catch up. He needs a little bit more damage. He finds the slow here with a double one. Dokla! Rock oh. will get it done, and there it is. <laughs> Whippo. I waited until I was like, oh wait, this might actually happen. Yeah, I mean, a really good play from Dokla to call for the ult and to turn that around. Oh. <laughs> a little jump scare there. I didn't know he still had that. <laughs> We've always got that was really well played by Dokla. Quad <laughs> really go got punished there. Play. <laughs> I think, they're, I think either Dokla played it really well and knew that turn, he didn't have to respect the stun, or, or I mean, Quad just I mean, didn't respect the, uh, the damage coming out from Sante. Because that is so presence. unfortunate to oh, have Bustio pretty much a guaranteed kill. It feels like top side. Makes it enough so they can't With that get the TP, tier two yeah, on their just side uh, here. Uh, making it a I one for one. I do want to see like a locket at some point come out for the side for FlyQuest here to try and help with so much of this, you know, long range uh, damage. By the way, Zyra's still up in with farm Karthus and, and it's currently twenty. And he's gonna go down when they get these wolves, but on the ultimate becoming it's, so popular, like it's noticeable. Really does go a pretty long way in uh, especially dealing with the Karthus ult. Oh, I'm loving this well, Dark Seal actually go a long on way. Zyra. We're pointing out that tier is now fully gonna, stacked. Right, not Quad, you think Karthus is eventually going to buy the uh, Dark Seal? This thing is going to provide so much shielding in fights. Like, the spammable nature of that shield is going to give him a lot of extra durability. For a champion that's already difficult to burst down, things just went from difficult to even more difficult for energy in any of these fights that Whippo was able to be a part of. And you can see both of our we top We got there. And... One additional player on each you know, side. Just I teleports in this Whippo game. I had to take an extra second. Solo Palafox, right? Palafox, Masu, and both top laners having those ults ready to go. Wow, Whippo what a flash. flash! Locks them up, beats them down, impact. Yeah, Palafox is dead. To go back dead. in. 
Tried to say Ishtal's impact. I said impact instead. He's not in this game. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It didn't even look we close. Palafox take it out. Whippo's the one taking him down. It was a great ult by Masu, the though. V1. FBI flashing the rays that they have on that ult has inspired. That was really well done. A lethal situation for him too. Also, it didn't, it didn't look close. Why did why did it, why did it look like away. even one on one? Whippo was just gonna absolutely dominate. Bot side river Palafox on Yone. Yeah, Whippo still pushing up. Scarner just that strong. Wins all over the place here with setting up on Dragon. Whippo Pretty takes half of wise. the tower by himself and cruises on out through the mountains there. Looks like we got a little bit of a yeah, check, a though. Hundred. Energy teleporting okay. oh. in. All right. Energy's not willing to let this one go. All right, Whippo flies out. Not really going to find Order a whole lot. Fire gets yeah, knocked that, up, but there's nobody there to follow it up with anything else. Alifax Energy. Don't was there, though. They're, it looks yeah, like Alifax they're just going to let it go the side. because they're going to get top side. Here for Energy, they will successfully push FlyQuest away from this third Drake of the game, but the trade at the same time is the Tier 2 turn. Oh, uh, that's top. rough. Yeah, what do you think of that call to deal with use both Ziggs on this, uh, to go for Dragon number 2 here and give up that secondary tower? Because those things... It's 800 gold for your team. It's a lot. Yeah. No, I, I am That's I'm personally really not a fan. I mean, look at this. So Flack was now 4K really gold. Really strong right now. You know, it hasn't been. And I think, like, if I'm him, you know, I'm just saying, like, one or two crazy am, plays, I'm unkillable, and just we win every fight. And but Flack was consistently like been able to. Hold up a sec. We gotta fight the bot lane. Ooh, yeah. Don't look going in for the all out. Quad no, jumping back away. The Requiem. They wanted to hit him with a Dawning Shadow there. I think the Dawning Shadow hits. If there was no TP there by Quad, Quad's dead. That's a great engage by Doqua. But if that would have connected, also I think really quick uh, been zeroed response out there. by so Whippo. Whippo really shows well up at least to try to protect him. Contracts level 12 here on the Karthus. The same situation as inspired Zyra. You can see the EXP bars actually at the exact same spot too. I was talking about the high tempo jungling for both the of these EXP picks. What are and they it seems that that's about? what we're getting here. 19 and a half minutes into the game, only 30 seconds until Baron's live on the map. Don't know my Don't jumping on, in, stunning Whippo up on this turret a little bit. Wow! So much damage. Whippo took a lot shots. of those turret both shots. these guys pretty low. But Joker doesn't have a ult. He's just talent. used it. So Whippo probably. But yeah, going back uh, to what I was saying, probably knew that and was able to. Tower. I think like you know, kind of play a little bit. If it was third, third dragon, like you're threatening soul or if it's soul, obviously. Um, then I think it's a good trade, but it's just investing a lot of resources. And the other, like, FlyQuest is going to come up up-tempo. They did end up getting Whippo's TP right after, which is right, going to so make Baron's the game up. feel so a lot now better. It, with that, it with really the, is in that situation yeah, where Dota. you have um, to be really, really, still not really careful not to, want to give go something out. Yeah, it's just uh, the investment of both, both teleports when you're really, a team really that, like, Baron. wants to be able to split push and, and play the map and use these Zyra Tristana. Actually, Zyra can almost do it on our own. But we also saw... The, I don't know about uh, this early. You know, and Skarner Only combo. one item, we but didn't, you know, talk about that one. Zyra can definitely just solo that Baron if you're not careful. Ultimate, also, <laughs> that enabled Whippo to get that kill. Like holding him in place with the Skarner ultimate for the Ziggs bomb travel time was pretty sick too. Yeah, normally I don't think about Ziggs as like the same level as Karthus ult, <laughs> yeah, yeah. where it just like falls on top of you. But when you Skarner ult and just drag him into the middle, then there's not much you can do about it. So I really I. I'm really enjoying and liking the Ziggs pick a lot more as the game goes on. Yeah, it was the, the alley-oop dunk there. Whippo, Whippo <laughs> set up uh, Masu for the easy one. We'll take another look, though, too, because they have an easy time pushing out all waves. Uh, Whippo on bottom side already was able to push out and then move up through the jungle. So I like this collapse Masu from FlyQuest. They sent wave. all their resources now towards Baron. They even invested an ult for an attempt at a pick. Yeah, that ulti was uh, a that little was not even close to a little um, <laughs> aspirational for the distance that he was from his opponent. Yeah, Generally, aspirational a is the better, better word. Of an angle or maybe some setup you for miss that every one. Great ult, job by Inspired. Take. You miss some of the ones you do. And they grab well. contracts so, too. Not, not really what they wanted. Energy's Whoa. gonna be happy with it though, but they do have to commit the flash from the card. That's actually really good damage on FBI as well. Inferno bomb and Energy have lost. I don't think that's quite enough to be able to grab Baron, but that that was a great job. They know that they're in control, and as long as there's not a turret or something. Something to have to fight under they're ready and confident to take these fights against energy and open ground so i guess the question i have for you guys is so what's the play Whippo of your energy not 4, have gold at 21 minutes does. is a pretty serious problem so energy has yeah, that I mean, kind they of really just have to try to find some kind of pick in the side lane here like it's going to be a play from dokla or palafox where they find an angle on wait Potter, who's going for it oh or they just start the baron or they should try me i mean you know Whippo, and Whippo is one of the scarier members as long as they can kill inspired and that's the name of the game who he's summoning up the orn horn shoots it back oh wait gonna find much his Wait, what? Flash away from the fate seal, giving himself no, this, this is so rough. This is so rough for Energy's part. Quad. First kill of the fight. It's one nothing for. Fly. They just gave. Now they they might have just given over the Baron. Moving right back into the Baron pit. Baron reset, oh, but only partially. You know, I, I don't dislike Fly just letting this go. Away. Remember, there is no smite for Energy. 
Yoshi. Contract's dead for the next 25 seconds. Oh, wait, yeah, Don't Contract's is dead. Yeah, just grab it. Never mind. I, I'm totally wrong. To I didn't see guys. that Contract's died. Got the e -stall impact to push well, I saw something die. I didn't realize out. it was Contract. Lucio continuing to just try to zone Palafox away from Ooh, the so low. participation in this conflict. All right, Baron's I think Inspire just grabs it. Dawning, Shadow Who he has in the pit? Trying to go in. Who he wants to try to steal it away, but it ain't going to work because Inspire I'm not overly surprised about that. Baron for FlyQuest. The energy Baron tried to rush it. I think that was a little aggressive. It was and risky and the risk gets I thought that they were going to try and turn. I, I thought they were going to like try and rush summer, it. Uh, somebody was going to come in and they were going to like really focus meme, on new Inspired or something like that. And that is not what happened. Dopa. Ooh, he oh. goes all out between two turrets. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was probably not what he meant to do. Spot for <laughs> that was right in between both, so you get both turret yeah. shots the whole time, dude. Four yeah, he took turret four shots turret shots in like five seconds. seconds. Yeah, <laughs> no, that, that looks really cool. Like, <laughs> yeah, actually, he pinpointed that like, sucker. Like, it would be hard to do that on purpose, you know? <laughs> right in the middle. That's actually Honestly, that, though, that, that is really funny. That would have been a about perfect the, ult if it was the other way. Contact you know, if those were Douglas turrets, the and suddenly Quad's gonna like hit by multiple turret shots, would have been beautiful. It. And so, if you watch the replay, yeah, Flyquest you'll is see gonna grab so use, many like, turrets two more here. Two's on the Baron, and then he's actually out Look, of this mana. Look, and Quad. When the enemy or, uh, team comes, yeah, and so quad, he just kind of goes up to the front to die and there, and they they lose out another one. But it is it has been rough as far as the Barons go so far this summer for Energy. Um, in the first series that they had, yeah, I don't think they were in the position where they they should have started that Baron though. This one. Um, or they, they should have started the Baron with the intent, yeah. I think, to turn Very high-pressured situation where it, yeah, did not look that great. Like, and now with the Baron being taken, they've oh, perfect. We'll be able to see it. So that earlier play that they made on the Drake just doesn't pay out at all. Here's another look. Oh, no, no, no. So this, this is too late to even see it. Live, we've got another so, fight breaking out as the fate oh, wait, 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 wait. Strangle Thorns on himself to try to get a through the dive. Palafox gets back away. Great ult by contracts. Completes what they were looking for. Put oh, so much damage from Stana. Great, engage. Zigzol. Oh, Zigzol does so much damage on FBI. with just the damage. Three-man pull. Wait, Wimpo! There's your MP. Bimbo's flash was crazy. The triple kill over to Masu on the Ziggs. All right, FlyQuest are coming for the rest of the base. Here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, there's nothing that energy can do to stop this. don't even scratch him. He's just here to protect the minion waves. He's the bodyguard. The minion waves are the VIP. Uh, he has CP, so he's going to back. Now he's going to be able to use his own whatever to rejoin walks the up. team. Remember that Masu on this Zig still has the satchel charge for pushing towards these Nexus turrets. It's still another 10 seconds before anybody else on energy respawns. You know, they might not Black be able to end here. They're going to push alive. As soon as this wave arrives to the turrets, I assume that's they would. I assume that the yeah, this TP is going to come in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, I lied. I lied, I lied, I lied. On to the wow, that's, that's a crazy There's amount of damage on Taking it out. Now FlyQuest trying to get themselves back away. Whippo here on the front line. Might get caught Are they engaging here? They were kind of backing off anyway. So damn, tanky. Two-man solar flare as Palafox tries to find some damage. I, I guess I don't love that engage. Gone on a killing spree. You know what I mean? Like, just slowly FBI push him back. Just got knocked out. Of course, I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I'm sure... Got the better I'm sure Energy did exactly what they were supposed to do. As Dokla will not kill anybody in the back line. You know, funnily enough, I was totally wrong. Tristana eventually just ended up doing more than Yone. FlyQuest really took over that game. But they were ahead all game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, it was kind of slow yeah. and steady, and they were just kind of maintaining their lead. <laughs> Yep. Uh, they, but after, uh, especially after we'll the Baron, there's the nice do. They may not be undefeated in series, but they are undefeated with Skarner. That is for sure. <laughs> and what with? I'm not surprised. So Skarner looks strong. It's so uh, weird to have this opinion. If you say it publicly, you're blaming your teammates. They can't take. To Kasante, how do you right, like so that see. matchup? Like, which is a poppy enjoy yourself? Uh, I think it's really so good. I actually did play let's see here. Uh, game one for C9. Band. Um, Makes that sense. Even though FlyQuest is the one that's banning him. I, do, I think probably the stuff, some of the engagements I mean, I from Leona and Kasante is really good. good. Yeah. Um, so I would, I would definitely you know, favor I don't the FlyQuest comp this one. But that's good to me. I want to hear from the casters if we send this one straight towards Flowers. Go for it, Flowers. Dead time. Yeah. No, it is a full best of three. We'll see what happens. But I think Energy's comp is really annoying. They have a lot of CC. And you only get one match. It's going to be really, really annoying to match. Sticks with you here. Anyone that they have. Playoff seating being this important. Uh, oh, yeah, it's so to annoying. Let's, let's reiterate I mean, how what the annoying Ash talking is. about, right? A 0-2 start in summer 2024 He's gonna hit feels one like 0-4 in any other time. previous split, and nobody likes starting 0-4. Usually, that's where you start to see the light switch from green to yellow, and you got to be like, hold <laughs> on, boys, hold on. We don't want that to turn red. And Energy is not feeling good about the way that first game went. Hopefully, they can bounce well, back here, find a little bit right more there. coordinated gameplay in game number two. The moment two. someone yeah. says, oh, no this seems favorite to win, 
now. I we want them to win up. a little speed bit up. less. <laughs> don't listen to us. This, this is, not, this is not life advice. I, I really love the not traffic story. advice. Don't, don't do that. Um, but energy might want to be able to beat the red light. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, let's see here, though, about game number two, because already the Poppy here, Whippo getting in their faces, going in. He has Q start Poppy. What? Went in for the auto attack, picked up his shield, and trying to be as annoying as possible. But Whippo here does get a couple of procs on him. Wait, not just the auto attack. The how auto is Whippo the winning plant. the fight his now? His job is just to slow down this ridiculous clear from contracts. Gardner. Yeah. <laughs> Whippo and Doko. Clearing out the weeds. Whippo walks Doko's into the enemy jungle. Here. We already have a landscaping Bops guy. Bops everyone a couple of times. And then is, and then is uh, winning the fight on Doka? He's doing a good job of being a nuisance. And his delay on contracts' his early jungle start allows Inspire to start his own blue and then just go in to contracts' red side quad. Oh, what is happening? That is brutal. It's like 2v1 jungle flowers. This It's a that, nightmare. That is painful. And it's it's in one of the, the race cars. Wow, Poppy's looking <laughs> unbelievably Marcus. strong. So now inspired. I don't here. even know what to say. The, uh, the race car is all tuned up. He's got a oh, very big early lead versus Oh, contracts. and Contracts got his red Stealing and Raptor away stolen. His red buff as well. See if oh, they, poor Contracts. You know, how angry he is and what he's able to do because after Krug, wow. he's going to have Ooh, a lot of extra life. time. So yep. in, in Both that sides. situation, if you're the, the jungler, from, if you're uh, inspired, the uh, Actually, especially if there's a solo queue, you're trying both, to notify both, yordles. both of your lanes towards bottom side. My like all yordle lane and mid lane. With, you're like, with don't hold give on, this guy on. any Corky, free Poppy, opportunities Kisana, yeah, because I just Ziggs. took away, you know, all the options for him. So and then we have so we have so many like it could be the cannon, it could be do. contracts. Walks oh wait, this this is so plausible. Who's trying to run out all all yordle comp? We got to test it. Yeah, Contracts oh, trying to do what Inspire oh, did dead. in the previous game, no, no, but it ain't no, good looking flash, good flash. nearly as good. Going over top of the ward, showing where he's at, gets wow, caught really out by Brucio, by and so has to use his flash very early. And that is really well done. That is avoiding the situation I was talking about where you know you have taken away I mean, Quad even has prior from That's this kind of enemy surprising. jungler. Yes. And so they have the vision ward there too I'm to see some kind of if item he comes uh, over for that I'm uh, the kind of angry play where he's Okay, okay. Anger, so Doug is now allowed like back into the game. One he's allowed for a little bit. to go for. And so that ward they're preparing for it and inspire the entire time is thinking, all right, this guy's only got yeah, one play. I don't know play. if I would be I'm able to survive jungle. I don't know if I'd be able to proc all those. I left my grop up there on purpose. And then they're rewarded with the flash. Great. Great. Oh my god. Good job knocking who here around down here, a lot of oh, damage Hoo back to both supports, but it's going to be Boosio that drops first because Contracts. So still I mean, Huey gets clearly played it better because he blood. survived. It took him an extra couple of that minutes. That looks like to get a beautiful there, but buffer. But the punish he was looking for. Masu down to 100 From the HP. He's got to be careful right? now. Because uh, yeah. Huey yeah, jumped in and Alistair was able to kind of buffer it. Like, I actually yeah, thought he, that they might be able to turn it around. He had to still be there. He had to still be there. That was his only option. And FlyQuest actually went back in for that trade themselves, investing their flash from Busio to go for it. And oh, he's different. Who he hangs out for an extra 30 seconds in bottom Who he was not okay Masu with just one kill. He needed to get that second. He wanted that twice. double kill. I think I know where the review for game number two is going to start on the yeah. FlyQuest Live Flowers. <laughs> Bottom lane here. For That's Fly so Quest, rough. Energy, energy needed that too. They lost Boogie game one. There, out of the brush. Right now they're in game two. Himself. They're Let's looking at where, where can, is, where's where's uh, anything going to they happen? They're trying to get a blue top. Start because All right, it is it's a little even, but they very get a head bot this side. Is, That's this beautiful. Is not like Absolutely game changing. Okay, so let's watch this. Especially considering. We, oh, it's, just, it's so good still, by Busio. Uh, still I think I think everything contracts. that he did there was beautifully played. They just didn't quite have the damage on Huhi. And Ignite uh, would have finished it right there. He's still going to be a bit behind in experience. And I think this was just a little aggressive by Masu. Away from his just maybe didn't respect and he's still it. Still not going to have flash, but Huhi did such a good job. Sticking around as a Leona. Uh, yeah, just I don't know. That the I'd love to ask him. I'd love to ask him like if he thought they backed or if he didn't think that he would die. You know what I mean? Very good stuff there from who he so must coming up on that one back, but uh, no takesy backs. He's here in the bottom lane. Five minutes in, it's a <laughs> 1.2 thousand gold lead for Energy. This is a very similar lead to what we saw for FlyQuest in game number one. Granted, mm -hmm. both of their kills happened at the exact same time with the tower dive that got foiled this time around. Ooh, but it still Chad ends up being the same sort of story being told. Making Leona look good, and I love him for it. Once more, Masu only level three. Who he and FBI so levels cool. four That's and true. five. Ooh. Masu's got some catching up to do. Inspired is going to be. A Around. Yeah, they had no ward this time around, so contracts is in there. Mm. There's an extra so, plant. I don't think there's, there's they know there. in this jungle, and there's oh, an wait, extra Oh wait, this man would have gotten absolutely okay, jumped. Okay, Fox now flashing away from Quad does so not want to end up uh, getting yeeted back. But contracts and who he's coming up. 
They'll stay oh, safe. Contracts this could be dangerous. Joining up with him just to make sure okay. that their mid laner is going to be all right. Yeah, you, you like to see this. You know, who he The Masu and Busio this, this know that uh, on FBI's by himself. Um, yeah. You know, the big change that everybody was talking about. FBI's and back and There was matter. a lot of talk from, from Energy themselves about really incorporating him effectively into the team as far as both gameplay as well as shot calling. But wow, wait. him and so after, Contrax after whatever really happened level one, right? Bruko is just absolutely demolishing that level one. They're even on form right now. Look, they're both 45 to 45. Actual game plan How did that to happen? Win. So, Taking what what that happened, and Moving up through mid lane over to the grubs to grab the grubs for themselves this time around. A very good start maybe, here. Maybe for Poppy's energy. just more of an Starting early game champ see, than I even realized. You know, the, uh, and at just least really the gets outscaled by uh, of that turnaround that yeah, the analyst like S was saying. looking for. Exactly, right? They're trending in the positive direction, and that's what they need after how rough week one was, after how rough game one was here today in week two. And the nice part is for them with that grub take. FlyQuest wasn't able right, to trade immediately back him. to the Drake at the same time. So that's also still up and available if Energy gets control back over the bottom lane again. Yeah, those are the benefits of, I love this play where you always try and like steamroll through mid up to your objective because they're able to just chase Got out enemy cannon. mid up through the top side. I and see what he was looking at. A very quick take. By the way, oh, you know, so, so many of these AP so jumpers low don't take grubs, but it's all that's they're saying. Zyra crazy. is very good at it. Really <laughs> good uh, at collecting all of them, especially when you get your faded ashes rush off of the first blood. Whoa. Well, the grubs like summoning a bunch because of, of like, garbage the, uh, to fight you. And Zyra also loves summoning the, uh, some garbage uh, of her own. So she's I, like, I really was yeah, thinking, like, no way she's going to just jump in on this by herself. It's a good old fashioned trash fight. But there's no vision there. Feels good, man. in the Baron pit. Trash plants versus trash. Grubs. The battle. I feel like lore, you know, the, the grubs. They're All right, like, so, you know, Contracts got the grubs they already. Just, they like, those have been gone. Oh, so yeah, Nokia's got advantage. the dragon. Compost. So they have the battle. ability to get both objectives the grubs, if, if they I feel like. really yeah, want to it's try a compost and championship aggressively in the posture like that. In the early minutes of the game. Yeah. And, and Zara does win those. Yeah, she's undefeated so right now. Plants actually beat the grubs. She's holding the belt. I'll put <laughs> she's, she's the champ. The grubs have yet to the win the matchup. The world champion trash belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the, the queen of the dumpster. As energy is now going okay. into the play here in the bottom. I, I said I was going to say level it. Six here Stupid agile. That's crazy. It's so strong. Oh, but convenient. it doesn't matter. It got turned around on them. That's away. actually insane. Black West had inspired down here in bottom. Wait, that's so insane, Busio. You wonderful cow, you. Contract still looking to follow up and see if he can get anything back, but it ain't going to work. Fly Quest out. I'm really surprised. I was so ready. I was like, of course, the actual just leads to something. Crazy, what a, what a crazy strong old. He was thinking about it. If uh, if FBI no. moved up a little bit too much, then maybe they they uh, they mess around. But is kind of covering here in in, in case contract. I, I couldn't tell uh, contract was, was in vision or not. To try something as well, but FBI goes really wide, high so health though. Yep, he FBI might be able to punish Lucio and Masu. Uh, he just wants here. to push it back in so it can bounce off. You know one thing I've noticed about modern League of Legends compared to you know like back in the day League of Legends. So many more Varuses hit their alts these days. I remember back in the day, <laughs> Chains of Corruption was like the XD ability because uh, every Varus missed it every time he threw it out. But that time oh. I was like, oh, wow, he actually missed that one. You know, it's, it's like a surprise. <laughs> oh. Look at the Varuses hit what? these. Look wow, at the aura from Huhi. <laughs> that was, yeah, get that in your was turret. interesting, like, roundabout flame. Uh, round no, way no, to play. it, it no. wasn't flame. It's just a matter okay, of fact. It's yeah. like back in the day, I was surprised if the Varuses hit him. Now I'm surprised if they miss him. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah see. Surprised. Okay. So contracts is just direction. doing drag. Is positive. So I'm they're going to be positive. able to get right. both for the last uh, one just objectives. Saw, anyway, objectives. They got the first grubs. They're going to get the first drag. Yeah, that's what I said earlier. Dragon control. So unfortunately, they gave up a kill. Well, they gave up. Not the right way to put it. But Lucio has a kill currently. I mean, he has his fight defender challenge for this if he wants. But it's they're not quite contract. up in that's what's gold, Palafon so it's not quite such a perfect well. game. Inspired's gonna take a lot more wow, damage Inspired, you got home. He gets the strangle thorns before the knockup would have connected. Ooh, flashing good flash, good reaction time. I don't know if I would have been able to I'm do that in time. Sure if that, that was crazy. Not, but it that was crazy. So close that I respect doing the flash to not give Ooh. the kill out. Oh yeah, I think that one, that one, that big one would have exploded and Inspired would be dead, but... Survives. Oh, do you think FBI is just gonna chase him down? Karthus does survive this time around. Can you just... Whippo. He knocking FBI that? back away from him, and then just returns back to the wave to keep on farming. Uh, he knows how far away time, but I think you have to knock the ash. He can go back, finish off this wave. It's not oh, an Moss absolute is pick up domination some plates, in the top lane for this poppy counter pick thus far. I do like the uh, the swap there uh, because they can just have Dokla teleport down to bottom side and pick up this wave while All they right, secure Dokla. themselves the full 
uh, six grub. You know, every time Zyra I see Dokla, I think of Kim Dokja, no who's problem. from Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint. He still point. holds the I know, it's no relation, but... That's not going to change hands here, because they've rotated every time. Ash up topside, as you already saw, Wait. and are going to be able to you monster. Yeah, six grubs easy, too? Easy for contracts. All six you have to let other people around the objectives. With your you can't just do all of potential. them. Unfortunately, they don't have like you know the the Tristana and the the Ziggs from the previous game for that ultimate turret destruction of annihilation type of comp. But hey, six grubs feels good no matter what. It certainly does. Retains his title. Not just that, Meanwhile, but the dragon up for another three minutes, free and we got it's two minutes on rip. We've got support timer for Huhi. Yep. So all and of the objectives early Liana, have gone to energy. He needs to soak experience somewhere to get six. Mm. So uh, I was thinking, a little. yeah, I was just thinking he was going to go soak it off a of mid lane, but now he's just kind of looking around the jungle for some wards. Maybe you can even just get it off wards. Well, you know how those mid laners are, man. You show Whoever's up to a mid laner's yeah, lane, yeah, you try to just soak here. a couple of, well, couple of minions. To catch up a He's going to ping until the ping is broke. Even if he have. use those minions to get level six and give him a gank. <laughs> yup. Wow. He's going to be, what are you doing? Wow, are you look doing? at, look at how there. much yeah, farm you, Palafox you has. That before you came mid. Got your level <laughs> Actually, six just mid laners as a whole is just so much more farm than everyone else. They've kind of just been sitting there farming all game. Unlucky, man. Unlucky. We got about a minute and a half until the Rift Herald spawns, so we'll see if we get a big old team fight out of, of that. That's kind of insane. going to grab an extra plate up here in the top lane. I mean, Still top about laners 1, are at least above 100 energy. currently. You can see those slight advantages but, just mean, across the board there on the scoreboard for the individual gold differences. The only one favoring FlyQuest is a single million minions lane? worth of gold for the Poppy that now also disappears. Yes, so. count it. <laughs> That's a counter pick. That's a counter pick right there. Sure. Single melee minion. <laughs> All right, we got to jump. Ooh, oh, and yeah. engage by Quad. quad. Does output quite a bit of jumps damage, but, but now he's got to be careful. Let's able to finish it. Trying to lock Quad up, but he jumps back away with that reset Alphonse rocket jump. Alphonse doesn't have TP though. Whippo, now jumping in for FBI. Okay, but FBI is pretty all right with this. I mean, he's he knows that as soon as Poppy tackles after him, there's not really any more gap closed to deal with the slow. So <laughs> FBI is perfect. So it's funny watching that because it looked like there's no way that FBI was killing uh, Whippo. But it didn't Lucio, look like Whippo was necessarily going to be able to kill FBI either. See if he can find any sort of a lockdown. Nope. Not gonna happen. Whippo was so gonna be not able to keep down FBI here? there for long enough. Poppy doesn't have like that hard CC other than just the snap knock up from the ulti, so was hoping maybe FBI would stick around and fight him a little bit more, but it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, and just gonna All right, looks like Moss very is back slight in health trade over here. Meanwhile, on the top to side, uh, we have the opposite mismatch where the Cassante is I pushing think, in on the Varus. You know, funnily enough, I think Dope was okay with this. a minion again. Yeah, and there, once more, you have Great that Great knockup by Crucio. Too bad they didn't really have anything to follow up there. You don't have the wall bang. It's harder to get what you need. Ooh, the FBI is low from up. that, but it wasn't enough. The not near strong enough to kill off FBI. And now it's That's a lot insane. of problems for Pippo. He's going to be killed by the arrow from downtown. All right, we're back on how stupid Ashel is. Unbelievable. On the side of energy. And FlyQuest is trying to squeeze out extra busted. damage there, but uh, the extra barrier from FBI, they don't have oh, that enough is damage. Insane. That I can't the believe. I thought it was such a great in game by Busio as well. And, so and he got super he survived, punished. Plus, who he once again setting up contracts, who he sets up contracts for the easy combo on the Zyra. They get the kill onto the Zyra. That is Leandri's completed here. Good damage. For the grub fight. You no, know, his contract's uh, just going to fight for this one as <laughs> yes, well. Sir. So Are they just going for nobody's, every objective with Zyra's? anytime soon. No way, man. This is such a better look for energy than game number one was. Oh, so like, much better. I like the not, It's not even comparable. Better. I like the fact that they're, they're actually, actually winning this game. Like as a team <laughs> so much more coherently than we saw yeah, in wow, the previous Yeah, wow, contract is just there. So far this split. Fight him if you can. They're the ones going after the Herald. FlyQuest has a that couple of insane, dudes nearby, actually. but those dudes are not making their way over to the pit. Quad! Ooh, oh, Palafox! Palafox here goes for the Tristana Insect, but instead has to flash away himself, nearly dies to the final Corky oh, Rocket. Oh, that was Boozer crazy! Makes his way up, but it's not Palafox, like he can engage that was on crazy. Palafox here just yet. Goes for the flash, pulverized, wanted to get the headbutt oh, back into Buzio, the turret, but it ain't Buzio, gonna work no. out now. Buzio, coming in to cut off that escape route. Buzio oh, like, how dead has again? the ultimate. The unbreakable will might get broke after all. Who he wants oh, to jump in here with the, the cow's Zenith dead and the again. shield of daybreak. Give the kill over to Palafox. Oh, the boys eat burgers. And the cow poor is move. down. Rift Herald takes out that first turret. Indeed. They're going to get the charge here onto the tier I mean, 2. At Energy least Quad survived. These first 15 minutes. I, was, uh, yeah, I thought it was a really good hold by Quad back in the turret range. At first, I thought something spicy was happening. Non and champions. And yes. Oh, first inspired quad finally to go got an objective. I'm sure he's relieved right now. to get the knockback on him into the tower. On the rocket jump, getting Kassante pushed back, and he's the one who dies. Things. Plus the tower, 
NRG here, really, really strong comeback in game number two. Yeah, they're 3K gold uh, right pushing now. Pushing that lead is the key part, too. They did not stall out after just the play yeah. uh, onto bottom side. All right, so objectives aren't going to be up for about four there. minutes. They took that lead. Uh, Baron, they ran you know, through really mid. They turned it into the objectives of getting Again, the six can growth, solo it, so you can do really strong it, pushes like really we just hard to saw. Do at 20 that minutes. plus the Herald, poof. Towers are all gone then, on top you know, side. And you know, I, I respect the, fla the fact that FlyQuest is Great. trying to make some plays happen when they're behind. That was a beautiful bash. But at the same time, Bucio. you have to clean them up no. a little bit more than no. what you're doing. Poor because Bucio. a lot of what we're getting this game from Bucio FlyQuest Alistair is just, it's a little again. bit of slop. You know? I would be heartbroken. I want to see this be a little bit cleaner, a little bit tighter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with a little slop. <laughs> every, now, every now and then, you know? <laughs> I don't know if I would have said like that. Sometimes the League of Legends I would be so heartbroken about Bucio right now. You're in your own jungle, too. It wasn't even like you were deep or nothing. You just get hit by actual ones and you just die <laughs> right, you're sitting well, there like, yeah. I'll tell you what, energy's pretty entertaining right now. They yep. are loving the current state of this. They want to get to that, you know, final game. It's a best of three. They want to make use of the full uh, full series. That's the most entertaining game every time. Best Go. of three. You need that third game. They'll slop. Yeah, yeah never heard anybody. A little game two <laughs> slop for a game three bop. Let's do it. FlyQuest <laughs> are, uh, once again, going to invest some manpower up here in the top lane. Palafox is saying, all right, I don't you care. Know, Palafox gonna go has not died yet, even my though it's my favorite place there have been anyway. some pretty good in games to, by uh, quad. Try to play this one, though, has oh, a no, we got the TP. In, has who he off to the side with a nice Bucio! solar over the wall. Bucio, Bucio are you dead again? He's just so far away no, from my beautiful Alistair. How does that keep happening? Gets oh, energy is just cleaning up. He's gone, too. Oh, this is not looking close. Oh, and the in-game is by Huey, by the way. I'm not giving him enough respect. These E's, these ults, the enemy carry at the same time. He'll trade his own flash for it. You call that worth energy. 4,000 gold lead. Yeah. yeah. Instant collapse energy has just energy. been able to Dokla teleports in. Everybody comes down. to defend Palafox. And there is no Actually, also, Palafox on Busio did so much damage of the by quest members because Busio here goes back I don't think Busio did anything wrong here. That's the worst part. The you, you're the end game. So deep for you have to try and keep also Quad inside. inspired and all these people alive. On the after so sometimes you, you're just the one who uh, dies. Receiving the Zyra but it is ultimate, but far it's also going to take Masu's flash here. You'll That's a really good cleanse by Masu, by the way. Chasing Masu for the very flash every day of the week. nice little poke on Quad. Quad. Getting hit by a good chunk of damage there, down to one third. Bucio, Inspired. Bucio, Trying to please. stay here and protect. Oh, Bucio, Bucio please. Every oh. time the camera goes on Bucio, he is getting his butt kicked this game. It is a tough game to Let be in. Let me see what It's behind the curve of things. Yeah. It, it seems it's like not much quite of one. A lot of damage. A lot of it at the hands of Palafox, too. How are you liking this reworked Corky? Ooh. Um, Captain Flowers says that rocket would have also been yeah. death. <laughs> Rework Corky, he might not have the package, he might not have those yeah. XD Ludens Hydra builds that made nice no damn sense, right but just destroyed everybody anyway. Well, let me let me see so Bucio's atomization. Because he champion. is getting absolutely shredded. through people. I know he's level like seven, Palafox but still shredded. Like this yeah. He does have at least one completed item, right? Spring, that he had some really weak There's 20 minutes in, he has to actually, he's he might just have two like, I items. expect better of myself, I need to step up. And so you'll want to see him be able to do that. That was a great set fast presence by Whippo. That might get him out. And Bucio just so way too much. And Bucio's dead. Whippo survived. Whippo did not even survive. Get some revenge on Whippo from that first game. And his fire's also dead. Again, okay. Now, a double Wait. Back over to the this is a spicy old. But FBI it didn't matter. It. Okay. Dies well. Beforehand. Anyway. Inspired so the was, value of this card is less damage than I thought he would at this point. This second game. Second game. I have poor Almost Bucio. Uh, let me see. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Here. Bucio. Wait. Energy Bucio doesn't have an invade. item. I. It, what, what is it? What is it? It's 19 and a half minutes. Almost 20 minutes. And Bucio doesn't have an item. He ended up dying. So critical for them to have. That's kind uh, of insane. A strong performance from him. This poor yeah, cow is getting slaughtered. Game from game number one of this series. Oh, this um, is unbelievable. Rough, so I mean, nice really well done by Energy. From right, that was 6k this, gold. It's really their game to, to lose. This one out. But, um, okay, so this let's see this. be something that really kind of revitalizes them. Let's take Great a job by who we just lots of CC. We want to be as aggressive as possible. I don't think we should do anything that's wrong. He went in, he knocked up Contracts and Palafox. I mean, there's just no follow through. Maybe a little aggressive. Maybe he should have focused on just getting Huhi away from and they're able to get the uh, kill what's here, call? but there you go. Uh, Every time a Varus away from the... now, I'm going to think of what you said earlier in, uh, in the game. Where you, <laughs> right, like maybe maybe that's the, the play there. Out, like it's a point and click or something, but that was a good snipe. Yeah, that's crazy. One, a critical one that earned uh, the only kill. For yeah, I, I, yeah, I totally solid. agree with this. I think now, NOG could just rush in and say, try and stop me. Game state as a whole they have the Zyra. More and more. I mean, Bucio clearly can't go in without just absolutely getting shredded. 
but they got to be careful no, here. No, okay, there so you do respect it. Ways the assault is crazy! Right into the Leona CC, the but the, okay, they, they didn't quite have the damage the poke to kill Inspired. Nice arrow there, they were able to fake out Masu's ult, though. As energy walks back away, Masu, he had it there in case they were going to keep chasing. You know, honestly, I think they could just start Baron again. I'm not I'm not going to put the XD in chat on that one. Yeah, zoning, right? Yeah, that's understandable. He's creating space Okay, so Poppy is just down there wailing on the bot side turret. They might not have been able to get the Baron, but I think for energy fans, they're probably still feeling relief more than anything that it wasn't a Baron throw. Yeah, and <laughs> when you put it that way, I have to wholeheartedly agree. <laughs> no, I believe in the energy to be able to get this Baron for take, energy just on taken top care of. of what we just saw was I would be shocked if Black was able to turn a Baron fire right here. Had kept up that was 6k so gold. Was bottom side using his teleport. Busio um, his, still his doesn't have an item built. Teleport, kind of looming there. Right. Ominous. Look at this Calga shredded exactly. by these plants. Uh, and he was just pushing up the minion wave so that if the engage actually Okay, he should be completing item. It's going to be like 22 minutes and he's going to have an item. They were able to zone off. No, we didn't even back. <laughs> uh, from energy there. They actually oh, got what the value a out deep of it. TP. Okay, we got a TP coming in. FlyQuest, we're going to make a move, but the move is already oh, done. Masu wait, Masu's already dead. Critical and Buzio's, Buzio's obviously dead. I, I, okay. I, I guess I don't hate it. Here. I don't love no, it. Not quite enough damage, but it looks like the red Ooh, wave should they, get Okay, they're going to be able to get Pal Fox. Dies. FBI dies. FlyQuest might have uh, just Yeah, that could have been a worse fight. Pal Fox and FBI are dead. Dokla and Contracts just trying to walk away from this one. FlyQuest finally getting a little bit of momentum. I was worried as Masu died at the very start that any sort of a chance yeah, they might Masu have Yeah, Masu died super foiled. early. I'm really Fox surprised that energy didn't just end up getting punished. Kind very of just important clear to note, those are there. black and white portraits for both of these ranged carries, and they both spent their flashes to Wait. still die. Thank you, FlyQuest is going to be able to grab the drag the here. R, <laughs> nice R button there. Honestly, though, Quid or uh, Quad. <laughs> How many times is that going to happen? Quad to, me, happen a lot. quad to me. Wait, he did too. Has been quite. He good, said. He said uh, quid quad. Tristana, so, so I wasn't the only one who messed up there. Some, uh, some I, I messed up on that yesterday. Once you get your plus your Navori, um, you actually really start to feel the synergy here. You start to Bucio. feel the extra Bucio, power Bucio, of the champion. And if they're Don't able to open it. up some spots like this where they get the you do have Warmogs now. Twenty three minutes into the game, you have your item, but let's not tempt it. Then they can look for these repeat plays, but looks like energy want to take energy. I like this a lot less than I did two minutes ago. Since it was just used and should be around 50% at the moment, they forced. Okay, okay. Busio has a little the bit of engage is there, but Busio's engage is just a little better, it looks like. Tank. He changed oh, the and Busio gets out alive! Out. That's what matters! Away now. Busio's still alive. All right. About 100 HP. FBI oh, great he engage by Huhi. But Huhi's going to be tackled back to the ball from Whippo. It was a quick disengage by Whippo. That was beautifully played by Whippo. Dearest Karthus has made his way onto the rift, sir. It might have taken him a while, but the there we go. Has okay, Flyquest has showing signs has of arrived. life. Oh yeah, this time around. This Uki's is probably uh, you know this is sweat inducing for energy though. You start to realize like, hey, we're, the we're the losing squad, and these they fights now. Separate them. Uh, the Alistar here, pretty annoying to deal with when you're going for those uh, as like the solo re-engage. So Flyquest are able to get the kill. I would say biggest credit though that Poppy Ultimate got both carries. Poppy yep. ultimate ejecting oh, yeah, great job Fox Whippo. and FBI is what allowed FlyQuest to even be in that position. I mean, Poppy ultimate is such a game-changing ulti, right? It's something similar to, like, Lamb's Respite or Tempered Fate. The ability to just remove something that should happen and say, no, that's actually not happening now. You just get to rewrite the script. You certainly do. Rewrite it in your favor. Meanwhile, Ooh, Quad you know, continues to get richer. Douglas you got solo strong, power though. gold in the... Post two, play, oh, and three uh, with even Sante. though he wasn't able to get built. the kill credit on that who he kill, getting the solo mm. tower gold afterwards very very beneficial here. Uh, uh, gets know, the full BF sword and they're still right back out quite to a bit of gold. Here it's still Baron really Vision. just dangerous. Now for still fly. a four thousand gold lead for energy overall. But At this point though, I don't think energy can the fact can really threaten a four hundred gold individual lead. Four and FlyQuest is up on drag, so that could be kind of their win con. They're able to get this third one. So far. Yes, they are still significantly behind. Nice poke onto the FBI but if this from Masu. Karthus can die in the right spot and find a lot of value with this Ooh, ulti after, yeah, you could really get change this. a fight with that. Wait, Masu, Masu's Masu stunned up in the back. By the solar flare into the oh, but so, so much, much engage on a power box. He was just 2 for 4 2 for 4 and FlyQuest. Oh, FlyQuest is not able to punish anymore, but they got... I mean, they got the mid laner, right? They got Corky. Yeah, 
And Narnia's behind the tower, too. Yeah. I don't know if I they can grab the Baron here, honestly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they were unable to break the wardrobe. Wait, There's still like an they auto push them all back. on mid lane tower. And so FlyQuest now, after that you know, kill, they're going to show move on so over. much respect for that. Let's see. It's a little bit risky. No Karthus ultimate, so they don't want to start it up. But another one there for FlyQuest. Energy, though, this Fly tower, quest, this just, is just get in there. And, yeah, there just go. smack a stupid there thing. There we go. There you go, Douglas. Use, use those grubbies. They, the, the grubbies mice. changed their fandom from the Void Grubs to Zyra. They were a fan of Zyra in the, the World Wrestling Championship <laughs> ah, of okay, the, okay, okay. the topside grub duel arena now. And Contracts has yet to be killed, so we need to track this belt because yeah. currently he still holds it. But now, with the way the game is looking, FlyQuest might end up with it. Oh yeah, I want to. I want to see if Inspired delivers the Stone Cold Stunner to the Zyra in the middle of one of these team fights with a big ulti from the top rope. But... Give me that trash belt. Yeah, <laughs> what we got? Still three and a half thousand gold lead for Energy, which sounds impressive, but it has shrank down from that. What was it about a six thousand gold peak? Ten minutes ago. Ooh, yeah. I'm trying yeah. to think of like and what Flyquest I would be trying to do here. Back besides here, just farming, their scaling. Right. I mean, drags uh, up in a minute. Baron's up, but now their team's able to just Karthus, melt Baron without the threat of the other one. There's really good engage options on both sides with the uh, Alistair from Boosio Meanwhile, and who he's Whiplash Leona. Meanwhile, not had a difficult time. Uh, and not even counting the top lane. Push, even though he's down great, one point five. Great, great buffer by Quad. Thousand gold here. Again, I can't imagine doing that time. He's got his Fimble Winter. It's it's got a tank matchup where you. Focus on the minion. Ash is always still really, and really annoying. Still though. able to do their job. So FlyQuest, let's see if they can keep it Good up contract. because Energy returned to one of the most cursed areas of the map for them so far in yeah, summer. Yeah, no kidding. It's been the Baron. They've lost area, both fights right here, and they haven't got a Baron. It take sounds away like some all of the wards, some of the year. vision first. It's difficult for them because you mentioned it last time, but I mean they invested all their their engage resources on the Varus, but the Varus was so deep back in enemy territory and behind the tower that they had no follow-up during their stuns and just kind of got annihilated. Mm. Stunning the dude is great. Being able to kill him afterwards so is better. So side, but he's backing. Yeah, he has yeah. Definitely want to stun someone that is uh, within Drags range up. of your DPS. So oh, and this should just though. be melted they will from still FBI be able contracts. To pick up dragon number two here. Okay. Yep. So, FlyQuest no longer has like that been out of just a whole bunch of dragons so far this game. It's not like this but is going to be any sort of you know, immediate win condition. The fastest they would be able to secure a soul is 10 minutes right from now. now. And 10 minutes from now, even if the gold stays exactly as it is, 4,000 doesn't mean that much close to 40 minutes in. Also, beyond gold, you know, range is such a strong scaling hmm. factor. And Actually, so, yeah. Tristana the fact that the majority levels. of the gold Karthus on FlyQuest is on Karthus is so, so good He's over halfway now to level 16. Because if you're able to get like one more and more levels strong into the Fly Quest or an engage or something, on their that could side, they already the have and it looks some like range Russian advantages, but Tristana continually adding to that range does make it yeah, more just, and more scary here more. for energy despite their gold lead. So I they, mean, uh, they're probably starting all to the feel damage the pressure dealers here. on energy side. Well, is that just, EXP is bar so on Karthus, as you pointed out, over halfway there, now about 80% of the way, he's also got the two large rods in the inventory. Oh. Right about the time he hits level 16, he's this also be, going to this buy This would be a lot easier if Pal Fox doesn't Karthus, get caught, I think. Uh, if Alphax Karthus gets really caught out again, I don't know what uh, yeah. this could be a Energy's serious issue. And I think Energy wow, is just rushing exactly that. They're, they're, going saying in, they're starting up the bear, and they already used the strangle thorns to enchant the plants to make sure they can rush this. Yeah, they down. got it. Energy now they just have to get out alive. Wait, Wait, so Palafox got alive for free. Already got Palafox out of the picture, and FBI is so dead. Down FBI is dead. It doesn't matter because somebody already has a bear players. Contracts goes over the wall and rides the hex gate back out, but the requiem is summoned. Energy have disengaged in time. It's not going to be that meaningful. So it is a Baron take. That is a really good bear take. FBI through both summoner spells. That yeah, they sacrifice FBI, but you know what? It's Ash. Who cares? Energy barons that Ash we have seen. Ash can be 0-10. It doesn't matter. There's just an old tune. It's going to be annoying. Despite them having the gold lead, they were feeling so much pressure in Might this be a little because salt of the fight quest scaling factors. And so they Might be a little make salt. the call. I think correct choice. Fed Ash is a lot better than not Fed Ash. Try and rush it down, and then everybody scramble for the escape. That is crazy. FBI does go down, but a single person in payment for this Baron, which will allow them to try and push. And they got and, tier uh, ones everywhere. In this game before, the only tier two they don't uh, have is mid. Like, they hand. are As killing it. Though, the death cap is completed for inspired. So, yep. Next ultimate is truly going to pack a wall up here. But energy, they really need to make ah. the most of this barren time that they have now. Yeah, and I think if you're if you're flying quest, what you're looking at right is now, okay. It wasn't a great trade killing off FBI just for the Baron, but so now contracts and FBI, like two champions with absolutely zero with inbuilt or mobility or escape mechanisms, are now entirely 
vulnerable. If you can hit them with a flash engage from the Alistar, if you can get Poppy to find some kind of an angle there for a wall bang, it's a whole lot of potential to start a fight off in a very explosive way. So while energy well, has I guess been all man this should now be an opportunity for but them I feel like with the amount of the TPs they have, they can do something that spicy like a one back up towards that six Try to be a little greedy with their wallets they need and, to be and see careful. what they need they're to be able to make their flanks, do. And they need to be working together. They certainly do. Especially FBI and Huki here, those are the means for picking someone two, off. One, two. Uh, a late game pick like this, while uh, Flightless are trying to keep control of their minion waves. Now that I'm thinking about it, one through one might out. be just too no. greedy. That's the way that you can win Depending this on game. A, like a good rotation from Flyquest and like Lucio uh, or something like that. If FBI can just pin one member down as they're transitioning so they're between defending a, these a towers, to get this between up these minion waves. Right now, though, they Ooh, lots of poke on they fire. invest the Zyra ultimate early. Yeah. Oh, wait, who is getting melted by God? With the coming down, who he might be the guy in some what trouble. What an old by inspired. Whipple approaching from the angle, but he's not going to find and it don't in time. Dope in, so that, that was what I was kind of talking about with the 1-4. charging up the Keeper's Verdict, goes for the knockback okay. on Contracts and Palafox, but just Old shy of the range that he would have needed to knock them both away. No dead okay. bodies either side. So actually, Old from Whippo's gone, but Old from Inspired is also gone. They are just trying to defend against the Baron Siege at the moment, and they were going to get split push pressure because Dokla had just gone oh, there Baron's uh, gone. up on the top side, wow, but Dokla immediately nothing happened with Baron. because uh, of the engage for FlyQuest, so that was a very successful Beautifully played defense by FlyQuest. for FlyQuest to buy themselves a lot more time. And you can see up in the top left, the amount of gold gained for the Baron, it's only at plus 400 right now with 10 seconds left on the buff for, for energy. That's not great. Just killing the thing gives you 1,500 across the whole team, so FlyQuest, when the dust is all settled, they ended up losing a total of 500 gold to the enemy Baron pickup. You'll take that, I think, any day of the week. No oh, kidding. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, no. 500 gold. What will I ever do without my Doran's blade? But Meanwhile, Lord Dom's completed as well for yeah, I don't think This Tristana is truly threatening. And they oh, wait, maybe. Pick. Yeah, it looks wow, like they're, they're going, going all in here. Dokla here. Kasante is not normally a champion you would look at and say, yeah, let's wow, pick that guy. Dokla's but when dead. you got this much firepower, you might as Dokla's well dead. just unload. Do they have TP? Do they have TP to stop Palfox? All right, how much damage? Is there a minion wave up at that tower? It looks like Palfox pushes in topside, and they're going to rotate over towards mid. Energy. Oh, that's a lot of respect for Palfox. Here, the so they finally the got this uh, turret. Life. Yep. And they will indeed do you know, that. I so think that's worth it. comes in for FlyQuest, the money goes no over offense, to Quad. Those tier twos, you already oh, talked wait, about Dokla earlier in the series. It's worth 800 gold. That's a good bonus. But we're also 33 minutes into the game. Uh, and the only thing know. is that the mid one, funnily enough, As long enough, as nothing weird happens, it might be worth it. Because they are trying to incentivize split push as a, as a strategy, and so that's why the side lane uh, secondary ones are worth a little extra. But top laners, Flowers! Top laners is the seventh camp, and Palafox is looking... Huh. Okay, so nope. let's see. Uh, Palafox so is looking much to damage. go I'm surprised he does not want to go camping. He has there. allergies. He is not looking to spend time in a great outdoors. He is gone. And it looks like all oh, of Energy drags up. That's now why. resetting their positions here, recognizing that the play they wanted to make on Whippo's Poppy is not going to happen. In the meantime, that was really, really well acquired done. Flyquest their third grabbed that third drag, and they have points. that opportunity of Five soul. Five minutes from now, that could be Hex Soul. Yeah. And, and Hex Soul strong, knew bro. All right, well, Dukla still had, I believe it was like 26 seconds or something on his death timer, so they're like, you know what? We'll get the payment in the secondary you tower know, in mid lane, late, but late we're not going to be able to do really anything about this dragon, so that is yours, FlyQuest. Uh, oh, congratulations! Is melting everyone. And they are going to be pretty happy because level 18. Baron's up in a minute, and again, at this Tristana point, I think contracts the might just melt Baron by herself. Power spike. Do you really this have to always maintain vision up there if you're Flyquest? Truly quest? peaking. Yeah. You get your cooldown reduction from your Flicker Blade. You have your big crits from your Infinity Edge, and you, know, you have your armor penetration from your Lord Doms. If he's not careful. This, this is fully operational, fully maxed yep. out passive uh, range. Yep. There we go. Palafox Let's see wanted to go for the recall, but oh, he gets oh. stopped instead. Wait! Palafox, you're insane! In a 1v1. Beautifully Ooh. done from the energy mid laner. That was now close. Now has yeah. to just uh, hopefully turn it into bad. something. Turns out to the genius midfielder Palafox. Oh, Masu. Uses the cleanse there. Nice job from FBI I'm forcing Bucio out that summon. Busio is still looking for Palafox down here. No, the wait, Busio doesn't get him. Palafox gets away. That's that a lot of waste of time, but it was playing. kind of waste of time for both sides. And Baron's side. up. That's a tough matchup. Is he going to get to the fountain in time? He oh, doesn't wait, get to the fountain. Inspired. You're crazy. Can, he's built in. That's what I'm talking about. The card is old. Palafox died almost at the fountain steps. He was so close to getting back. Where's that plane? Oh, it disappeared. It was right there. It was crap. 
crashed right before he made the no return. No way did Energy Flight Star bear it up right now away. Now Quest looking for their 4v4. Great! The target here great old by Huey. Oh, oh, don't go going in. Is he, if he's able to kill Kach Inspired, then they might just get buried. Okay, that is beautiful. There's no ult from Inspired, so he's pretty much worthless for the rest of this fight. So now they just need to survive. If they can just all run away, wait for Palfox to rotate over, they're the only team that lost they might be able to get they reinforced with quad so it's not like energy can push I can't it believe further. that Doklo was actually able to grab inspired Doklo's there still looking maybe for a recall quads just gonna push up this mid lane wave look to take out that tier two is the cost energy Ooh, still okay well, actually that was so well done by quad still got that buffer step but really really, really good engaged by who he oh but was low but so is Doklo are they gonna just trade top laners no wait what was this one of the fight five versus what is the fight He's always dead. There's nothing who we can do. Kontrax was able to. Okay, Kontrax was able to get a kill. Ooh, Boosio's dead. Boosio's dead. And Palfox is there to clean up. So let's see. If Palfox plays correctly, he should speed it up here. Also, insane play by Kontrax. I can't believe he got a triple kill there. Great movement by Whippo. Whippo, you are such a monster. What are you doing? Just like that, Karthus is back alive as revived oh. after getting picked off and separated from the team with Dokla. What's going so on? Inspired's back out to farming. We are about to get the respawn. Let's take a look at how it all started out, though. Okay, this, I think this was. This I can't believe they grabbed really Inspired good. here with he the ult. The Karthus, Dokla able to finish up. This was huge right there. Away from the rest of the team, so he Great engaged by who he. Oh, Bripo just kills FBI on the back. This is amazing. Oh wait, no, it doesn't. We have such an upper hand. So what happens to FBI here? Our way out of it, even though Corky just died to Karthus ultimately. They they now have the power, and so FlyQuest. So they're starting to bear it up in real time. Quad's gonna go for this tower, as you know. But look at all those plants. The Zyra all Nothing TV you can do, dude. Baron. Look at how fast they burn this. This was Zyra and Corky. That was a mostly just a two-man Baron attempt oh, because man. Zyra's power of the Strangle Thorns. That just is insane. Hold on, I, I need to play this. Big swing I need to play this Zyra energy. jungle thing. Let me ask you one thing: Are you having fun, Flowers? Oh, I'm having a good old time. <laughs> See, a, a little slop. Never Look at the ten thousand damage. This is a banger. Cow, it got to the top and then it had to keep cycling through more K. numbers. That's that's like as much as all the rest of them dudes put together. Like that's 44 plus 44 is eight. Yeah, it's actually almost exactly the same as all four other players on energy put together. Insane DPS from contracts here. This Zyra, four, zero, and six, he still hasn't died. You know, it's really don't jungler versus belt. jungler in this race. Yeah. That's what it's turned into. It's, his contract going to carry here is Inspire going to bring it back with his ults. And now with dragon spawning, this is a possible dragon soul for FlyQuest, but Energy have the control of all vision leading up to the dragon, and they're the ones controlling the choke points. So I think that FlyQuest should probably and let make her this look one like a go. fool. Knowing them, though, maybe they won't do it. Let's see. Uh, Busio does have Flash, but he's only level 12 on the Alistar, so you're still pretty sweets. squishy. Yep. You know, if okay. Energy loses here, it's, it's a beautiful so game by FlyQuest coming risk, back. Man. And they kind of sold the lead. That, yeah, you can, you can still give this one away. They're not on three drakes as well. You're not giving away the oh, soul. So they want it. looks like they want to fight. Really just have to keep Lucio it fired out of the pit. To be the first one oh, he got hit by the ult. Leading the charge. He just Instead, ulted Dokla. Look, he just ulted. Yeah, he got there. Wait, he actually ended up ulting someone totally the different, but it works out the same. Wait, Busio with an insane engage, four man engage. Oh, he just dies anyway. Oh, poor cow. They're just stronger. Who he finally dies in the back end of things. Okay, so Quad's able to get out the very least, so they might not lose the game here. The perma slows of the ash. He will not take FBI with them. It's a four for two for energy. Great actual. Even though I hate to say that, it was a really good minute, actual. So they from can FBI. immediately push afterwards. They've got a wave on bottom side. They got inspired, side. and they're then from that point, it was just can. a matter of how Quad quickly they were able to the kill him. to defend, but I think this inhibitor tower That's is for sure for going quest. down. Powell, Fox, maybe, and maybe they shouldn't have had. Maybe they should have forced sure that. Yeah, this inhibitor tower, this inhibitor, they are both cooked, my friend. Quad is going to set up and try to defend here at the two Nexus turrets, but it's still 10 seconds on Busio. It's 15 like on again, Inspired. I don't know for sure, but yeah, maybe, Nexus maybe not forcing it. Is not move. looking too strong. Turret destroyed by contract. Ooh, the, the arrow ain't gonna hit huge. Quad. Quad no, just trying game. to stop him in time. One second left in the Alistar. Energy going for the end of the game. Energy! They're taking us to game, taking three. game three. Game three, let's well, go. Well, well, well. Energy such a good game. Energy, energy looked a little. Up. They are alive. Less Fighting than perfect. back here in game let number let me, let me two, like starting that. out with. To be fair, FlyQuest is heavily favored in this LCS. matchup. I'm winning it. Studio. Just love competing, honestly. I think that's probably my. Alright, so let me just take a quick look at the draft. Is another 
It is it is much more Diana in Ezreal clearing, but it is much more uh, okay. There's some there's some in spice going on the here. hard engage for all these squishy uh, champions. I think like Diana really good. getting in here and for I, the I, big Kaisa's combos. Done. You have a Kaisa that follows up. Kaisa's you have all right, a yes, very yes. good dive composition I'm loving here to be able to follow up with Ezreal. Ezreal. I think Kaisa really being strong. those mobile carries from the back line and then having other dive partners and higher level players play for the Diana. I actually quite like it. I know this is a pick that's a little and the Diana is surprising. I don't see a lot of Diana. Yeah, I know um, some it Diana was played jungler, in the LPL by Milky Way, and than, like, it is seen as like kind of a counter pick into these really squishy mage junglers where it's like if you Whippo's find the, the Zyra in Let's the river, see, like Diana to is going to win that every time. Pretty much. Neither one of them wants to have that abysmal start when you're only playing a grand total I'm of having seven bo 3s for the regular season. So let's see who's got it here in game number three. You're going to see FlyQuest immediately five-man so, squad to control so well the bottom Zyra. side river. I'm surprised they didn't just try. Yeah, looks like they're going to get a little aggressive Grab level one. Zyra, uh, the Leona Ezreal is going to be a lot stronger than the Kaisen Nautilus. So FlyQuest can choose to do whatever they want to do on this bot side. I would be surprised if they went for a full, like... Uh, split map here just because they have the TF top lane and generally you don't want to like split them out away from the TF but he is staying down Dokla. here so it looks like they're like that is doing deep. something yeah and that's kind of why energy invested so many wards here they lost the ward that was up in the top side of the river but the second one oh, sees a little bit of a trap and let's see how how deep are they going to get because who he's still sticking around we're one minute 20 seconds so they are committed so to this specific. yeah it looks like energy is actually opting in for the full lane swap here they're mm -hmm. sending their duo lane top and dokla is just going to jungle with contracts here so they're just completely opting out of that um tf tf Cassante matchup and the early bot lane matchup which makes sense because they they lose oh. both of them so hard yep really really That's good so they, investment they in the wards in here kind of pulling the, the strategy so out bad, even though we will go over the Switching. kind of nerfs, the very soft nerfs, I would say, to the strategy. The damage reduction for the first five minutes on top tower has been increased to 75% uh, from the 50%. And then, of course, your first tower going this down, the bonus gold got Black doubled was able to pull off from 150 to 300. Lane swaps MSI with but looks playing like Urgot. Uh, it will um, just be the slow push here while you have the classic Twisted Fate just hanging hmm. around mid lane, trying to be as annoying as, pop, well. uh, as possible. The, the top laners, it's basically choose the least annoying job for yourself? Are you a fan of helping the jungler, Licorice, or uh, trying to harass the enemy mid laner? I guess it depends on your pick. <laughs> I mean, it, it definitely depends on the pick. I mean, TF, you're definitely looking for like those those angles into mid lane. If you can I... ghost in and burn the flash, that's really valuable. So these games kind of game are a lot state, harder for me you just don't really get to the play, play the game like for the first like five minutes or so. Um, and I think like so it's it was soft nerf, but I think what Energy's kind of going for here is they're saying like we're gonna go down right. maybe like two or three plates. It, it it's, matters like, about a lot of like gold. The picks. They think they'll go down more than that if they just play the lanes out properly with all these Has losing the matchups. Gold. So they're just taking the gamble. Yeah, I, I like it. They're willing to pay that price. Uh, and I think it is a good call. We'll see about the uh, bit of snowball though. Wow. As, as Look how much quicker they're melting this bot side. Very happy to see that they're were some nerfs at the very least after coming you like, know, look, watching look, they're, they're and two seeing, in on this bot side seeing a decent amount of lane swaps and they haven't got back. a single play or in this top side did you find it do you find it interesting i mean some top laners are like you know what huh. yeah, maybe there's some little interesting here where you get to get real creative even though you are very poor and under leveled yeah, I haven't um, met any of those top players. Oh, okay. yeah. uh, I, I, I don't think those guys are real, man. <laughs> They're going to get one plate, I, I, just I think, out of this. <laughs> Maybe a plate. Personally, I don't really enjoy being the weakest person on the map the whole game, but like, you, you know. You like being level one three and a half minutes in? Yeah. They do not get a single play top side from this right lane now, yeah. Lots of top laners like this. Dokla's so, level one. Actually, you're kind of weird for not I did like not get any goal from that uh, uh, just get plate and it has zero form. And, uh, <laughs> But yeah, it looks like FlyQuest, they're opting into sending the Corky top because he has TP. I and this is almost the third play of plot side. TF for, running all the way to top lane with no TP is really hard. So, super so they sent Corky Ezreal? top and now TF's laning against Tristana. So it'll probably be like more mid prio for energy and more top prio for uh, FlyQuest here. So after we got done with the initial sure of the like lane swap and the massive waves crashing, energy. it was two and a half, almost three full plates you taken by FlyQuest, FlyQuest here in the bottom lane. Meanwhile, up in the top for side, FlyQuest, energy this didn't is like even ideal. get the first plate. There's still just a little sliver of HP remaining on it, and that's kind of those damage reduction nerfs that you were talking about, making it more difficult for this strategy to work for the team who sends their bot lane towards the top side. Just Wait, damage one more buffs, auto attack right? from like one champion more probably would have reduction. taken that. But unfortunately for energy, they don't get it. So now they're a couple of plates behind. Ooh, Contracts comes in, able to get the uh, smite and the Q there for a couple of the small ones as well, making use of the uh, bottom lane push. When you have the Alistar coming with you again, it's just it's so scary uh, for the other side. The upside, Hold on, Kassanti's about to get his first farm. 
for this <laughs> Kasate right here. Yeah. Like, he doesn't mind being behind. Four minutes and 47 seconds into the game. That's top lane, you know I mean? baby. always yeah, just Yeah, if you talk to Doug Laugh this one, he'll be like, yeah, I love let's, lane. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get his cam up here. Huh? Where, where's, the, where's the cam? Re yeah. Oh, that, that is love the picture. That yeah, Doug was enjoying this deeply. Enjoying <laughs> just living his best life up here. I, I think it's, yeah, the, the, the shoulder uh, positioning there really looks relaxed. Lean and everything. <laughs> He's kicking back, man. He's... He's along for the ride. <laughs> so they ended up oh, kind of really? swimming. So Whippo's <laughs> actually playing just mid. Else. Battle Fox versus Whippo back in the mid lane. Obviously, the, the that farm is really interesting there how, how for these Battle lanes Fox, kind of considering he's actually been playing the lane the whole time as opposed to the into. first four minutes. It's not even like a lane swap where top a, just a vacation. goes top again and bottom again. The the game still belongs to the two mid laners on either side as Battle Fox has crashed this wave in. We have seen a couple of unfortunate cannon minion misses from Quads, Tristana, in both previous games. A couple of minus ones. I did call out a few of those cannons because I notice every time I miss a cannon. It is so This is the power of the Ezreal right here against the Alistar, where he's actually 1v2-ing bot lane and crashing the wave while Leona's top side getting the grubs. So while they did swap out of the early, like, bad, worst, the like, kind of the worst time of the lane is, like, that 1-2-3 levels, mm. it still is really hard for them to play the game because Alistar is kind of stuck bottom and he's really not able yeah, to do very much. Yeah, so FlyQuest, kind of I mean, from behind they're, they're kind of happy, actually, with it. Even though they didn't defuse the very beginning of the early levels, they still get to move on up for grubs on grub spawn. Pre six minutes, already heading up oh, there, dude, annihilate it's, those it's always things. Shredded. As you're saying, these when always gone so here at Masu, to he's got barrier, he's got flash, he's got arcane shift. So actual yeah, one right, v two. Like, don't worry, I got my lane under real control. Proud. I want to see more of him. You can go up there to the grubs to get He's so spicy and has so uh, so much Bucio spice in his That we're able to get those grubs. The outplay potential is insane. And then, uh, what are you doing, Uhi? Little Uhi? party waiting for him though. What Uhi, are you doing? The other support is getting a little sneaky. Yeah, Contracts knows the oh, timer on the these flash. chickens because he stole the last one away. Oh, and it just means that it's Wait, so for easy for Huhi to wrap around, dies. make the Never punish. Mind, they know you, that you had the spice in mind. for chicken, and they're ready to give him a vegan menu. <laughs> that was beautiful. Yeah, I mean, really good setup by Energy. Just like I, I think really Energy actually really the needed that. Head. It's just it's despite only getting get first blood, they're still behind in gold. Like, they are Every behind. Time finds him anywhere, but getting contracts a little bit ahead away, there, so. I think, is really really I think, important. Like, the game Way is to in go, a really Masu. good state I see for you Energy. That cannon, like, that was beautiful. Considering the state of the draft and how hard they would have lost early had they played normally. Yeah, I mean, all of the setup for that play was so good. Then you, you're inspired, so even though, you're walking so this might not be correct, brush, but like, if they have to lane swap, doesn't mean you lost the draft. Cal pops out from behind right, like you. If you're looking at it like, hey, if I don't lane swap, lane, I am right losing head, this game. While contracts you kind of lost the draft, right face, unless you instant, originally came uh, into that deletion, wanting so. to do lane yeah, swap. That's a little taste of what they're looking to do later with the push. Meanwhile, that Kai'Sa also then able to push in this wave, get the reset off, so. FBI here oh, now, back level from, six uh, as well, yeah. so can join the, the some of these back plays that do that break really, out really when you're looking. looking for your skirmishes around the river. Uh, again, the river between mid lane and bottom lane, I feel like just should be packed with action in this game. Yeah, and also while Ezreal is a really strong pick early into these champs, it's only going to get scarier for him for him as the game goes on. Like at, at a certain point, once Kaiser gets the items, she can just ult on him and kill him instantly. I don't really see anyone and moving It's only going to be like harder with the Diana also Both going the in there with the Oh yeah, just all the dive from energy. Yep, the dive very scary. So what FlyQuest want to do? Try All and right, spread so the map a little bit. Whip over here on the top six. side. Ooh, Does have his ult? Not gonna pop it quite yet. And contracts waiting. Yeah. Oh, Contracts okay. Is, uh, he, he decided to back against away it. now, though. Let me ask you guys. They how had do you a war, so it wouldn't have mattered. But... Whippo used these ulties here early on mm. with the twisted fate. What's gonna be the biggest value play to get out of them? I mean, I I don't think it actually matters who his target is. I just think okay. he has to kill somebody. Like. I think like the longer the game state goes on and all he's doing is oh, he got all of it. farming top, it's going to be worse for him. Although, he does have a sizable CS lead. I'm not sure that how much really it is early, actually from winning uh, Kasante, uh, but it does seem like he's beating him really hard right now. And wow, wow that was so much damage. That raptor. Onto so, I, don't, he did. I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Look, 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 from a jungler to jungler, I don't know. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> yeah, Lakers was giving his good explanation, and I'm like, I don't, I, my jungle brain, I just, I, why did he smite the chicken? <laughs> that was, it was so early. That's and why I was, was just saying that, yes. I'm so glad somebody else noticed it. Burn him down. It was something about what happened last time, it, but yeah, then so contracts there from the brush, still able to secure. Uh, not only is contracts. It's king actually of it's the actually so wonderful to hear the announcer say something that I bring up later and, on. So I'm like, uh, am I just seeing weird things? Champion, <laughs> but he's also king Where's of my the mind at? Fights here. Wow, Quad really Ooh, won that fight. Quad.
not afraid to get aggro here on Palafox. Does miss that last rocket, which would have made the trade feel really good, but it is still enough to force Palafox back. Oh, For now, Whippo continuing to just put some damage into this top lane turret. By the way, you can Douglas still see on the number plate. on the map for that top lane tier one on FlyQuest side. That one little sliver of HP yeah. has still, still not yeah, been it's shaved show you. Look at this. It is in the exact this, same this condition is actually it was after the massive wave <laughs> collision three minutes into the if game. If they don't get that by the yeah. time 14 minutes, it's that's really going to feel the worst. It's really hard to get to hit TF's tower when you're playing Cassante. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, one, that one generally doesn't happen unless TF has made some pretty big mistakes, but definitely does feel bad to just keep looking at that plate. All right, well, so, we're on yeah, the timer for our second spawn of right Grubs there. onto the map, okay. and Contracts wants to make his visit mid first. Okay, Huhi. Go for a little mid Okay, so Huhi, your first one was, was up there. Meanwhile, filled with spice. Huhi actually took the long Let's route see, is, and wrapped is the all goal the way here around top Dokla side. To so, get the ult through this, or you... Lane, so oh, wait! This could be an X flash in! Flash over. Yeah. Good flash Huhi by Whippo. wanted to make the play there. Whippo recognizing Even though it kind of feels bad to lose your flash Huhi. there, he Dokla survived. Is in some trouble, but now FlyQuest is making a move. Okay, Palfox. Palfox is melted. Palfox is just melted. Palfox is melted. can't get away from that one. And Quad takes the kill. FlyQuest tie the kills up one to one, but it's energy starting up the grub. All right, so they already, already stole one. The so now at the most, trio. they can get his five. As soon as he wants to hex flash over the wall, he might just He's going to get there. He's going to get there. With a knockdown. With a knockback. Oh, he's dead. He's just dead. Okay, Whippo's dead. These guys doors in. That's the downside of playing TF. You're just Squishy. The way back underneath the tier one turret. MVP and so far. Going around and making things happen. This is what support should look to like. Get the rest of these grubs. Yeah. I mean, a few really cool things happened there. I mean, it was a really good heads up Oh, actually, that would have been a heartbreak if Pal Fox uh, wasn't instantly able to. He pops his ulti and then looks for the target that is, is going to be isolated because energy oh. set numbers top. Oh. Whoa! Masu with the barrier staying alive, trying to get away from Pal Fox! Masu! Pal wanted to show up to defend that turret. They still lose it. What and he a misses wonderful out on play on Masu. by the Masu. Barrier was Ezreal the is looking insane. Yep. And the flash at the end. Looking too. insane. I was watching that bot lane story during the whole setup on top side. So I'm like, the Kaisa is walking for base. They are trying Thank to force you. his energy. I'm, trying I'm, to glad, force I'm so they know glad that Ezreal's doing carry. well. Meanwhile, Masu was pushing down the remnants of that tower the whole time. Everyone was walking around Grub. So I actually. I doubted it. When he missed that Q, I really thought it was. Even with the barrier, I thought he was going to lose. So I, I, that they were was gonna, wonderful. You know, commit Kaisa roaming over there and, and ulting in and stuff. Um, but because of that early twist of the ult. So honestly, that, um, I thought that to this tower was going to go down. Um. Palfox it was first. really close. They actually got quite a good start. And then right so here, here I just assumed Palfox won the yeah. fight. I can't believe Masu did so uh, well as is. Yeah, Miss Ecu, even with the barrier. Matter, and then the W here, because Palfox has away. vision. And that distance, Palfox actually tries to jump through the air. And because Quad is there with the damage, Oof. before the damage of your rocket jump uh, landing... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and everyone's doing the same thing. Just one little bit more damage. Don't jump. Like the time that it takes to to buffer and jump through the air. Yeah, uh, and then he goes down. Yeah, so so uh, so close. Yeah. No, it looks like both all coaching staffs were upset. Yeah, about everyone. That. Was, I'm, not, I'm not totally sure what happened <laughs> no, there, but nobody was really happy about <laughs> yeah. it. it was just I, a mess. Yeah, a Nuke Duck. I, I don't know what the Nuke Duck yelling was about, but um. <laughs> Yeah, that was a uh, something was, was playing wrong for both teams. I, I don't know what. I would have been pretty happy, happy if I was on uh, <laughs> yeah, playing really side. good play there. And then it looks like energy or FlyQuest, their response to yeah, Sarah just melts everything already, always. So like Masu, just get so it. gonna grab another one of these. He got a free. What an engage by contracts. This is aggressive with the old and everything. They want it back. Who he ready to flash forward? Who knock goes by who he? Wow. Okay. My bad contracts. I didn't realize that's who you were. Escape with enough HP to not be threatened himself, but with energy. And now they're finally getting. Some of these top plates. Side. It's making room for Halifax to knock Finally down plates some of these top plates. on this top lane. So they do end up trading it because Inspire does get bot side. I don't know side. if there's enough time left uh, to be able to secure the objective with the drag. Charge. The first drag of the Still game at 13 minutes, by the way. But I don't think he's going to get that last one just quite good yet. Job. Still attacking or, uh, it all the way to the Good luck trying end. to kill Dofa out there. That's a lot of resistances on it. Hold on, 10 seconds. Nine, eight. Dofa's in some trouble, but I'm focused more on this turret. Five, four, three, nope. No, yeah, Alfox doesn't get it. Missed this, out on it. This is the same tower that triggered your OCD with the with the turret. <laughs> Wait, look at how much health. Wait, who? Me? It's the exact you're same. Just, you're just always where you need to be. Wait, inspired. Wait, inspired. This, is this crazy. story has lasted the whole early game. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, it's problems for energy. I was distracted okay. by the damn Top side turret. turret does get killed. Here, both dead. Fly quest four to three. I actually like, like plays That's like that where you turret, let the tower actually. local gold kind of go into the dirt after if it's so close to going down, and then you know you like deny a little bit, even though the enemy team gets the gold now that for the the global gold but that was an the I, they're not talking enough about yeah. it yeah. that was an amazing ult by inspire like just absolutely little melting little, like, who he and in the bot lane who he came behind them they tried to force the fight and it turned out terribly for them so
They're gonna be on the back foot a little that bit. That was here. insane. And I think FlyQuest will be And I, I, I was so rude yeah, for Huhi for another one of those engages. Good FlyQuest, I gotta say, having Quad and Masu be the recipients what of some of these early kills Ooh, what a chunk. is exactly the state of the game that they want I again. There. Um, much more similar to uh, to game number one here, but Ezreal on Trinity Force and Corky on Trinity Force. So, uh, so Masu always looks low in mana. He's done here. Always. They're able to uh, take over vision control of the enemy jungle as well. But he Notice all of these blue hurts wards really, that really put so deep into the energy jungle. And he went Trinity Force. FlyQuest first. already know that this move towards the bottom is happening. Okay. Ooh, contracts. That was, tries to use the ulti that was quad, aggressive by contract. But, but the he's red also the wall, only really fed with Blitz Bane. Solar Flare, accurate oh, enough to he? get the full stun. Who he's trying to get oh, away. But he cannot survive the damage from Flyquest. Maybe it's just a cow Malifox thing. with a rocket jump for the escape. Doklo wanted the flank, but now he has the flashback over. He put himself in the wrong spot. Doklo is dead. Doklo is dead. Rocket will take him down, but it's Mystic's shot to get the kill credit. Flyquest is looking strong right here. They're up 3k gold. They're up 3k gold. again, trying to make some kind of a move, but it's Flyquest who responds. The better. misadventures and of Alistair, have bro. have full info to respond. That, that's the reason, like, these super deep wards, they see them walking down to the bottom side, and they're like, Whiplo. Oh, yeah, they're walking right to us. Get ready, buddy. Pop the Twisted Fate ultimate. Huge counter there from FlyQuest. Nice use of information. Yeah, and just watching that energy here, it feels like they're doing all the right things when they're setting up the plays, and then it just feels like something goes I don't wrong. Know. Like, they, they were hitting the top tower of Tristana, trading for the dragon, and then they die bombing. Like they do get the chunk they're setting up the vision, so Malfox can that... to push out, and then they just, like, maybe, go maybe in too he, far. Maybe the, the thought process is they so knew just they feels planned like, on doing the they rift, just feel and now a little, like, chunked for it. over-eager, or, like, they're all trying to force a little bit too hard, which is something that can happen when, like, plays haven't been going your way. Masu still just shoving up here in the mid lane, still unafraid of who he and FBI. Ooh, Masu, what was that? Shifts, the wrong uh, way. Right into him. And Masu's I don't dead. think that was That must have been ideal. a misclick. All right, energy trading uh, Masu for the Rift Herald. <laughs> <laughs> not, not bad for them. <laughs> All, All right, right. Let's get this top side. Yeah, look, it's, part, it's part of the mental game. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, that's what I do when I arcane shift on top of my opponent in a 1v3. I'm like, yeah, you're terrorized up in the brain, aren't you? <laughs> he was 1v doing them early, early on in the game. <laughs> and now he's his asserting dominance. <laughs> I mean, he's still ahead. <laughs> you're the, <laughs> For quite a bit, he's actually up me. over 1,000 gold right on this uh, ISO. This isn't your play, this is my play! <laughs> exactly! Take control of the situation, Flowers. One of the Today only I learned. leads is... they have is on contracts is uh, Diana. Yeah. And it and looks like Diana's I mean, been looking pretty good. Another chance with he's the made some to spicy on the plays here. off and of this. And looking at items, it actually looks really good for them here. Like, despite being down 3k gold, they're actually up completed items in a lot of roles, so I think if they're able to find a fight in the next few minutes, it should be really, really good for them. Yep, three and a half thousand gold leads. Four flight quest. Right there. Only that one Drake. That sounds like the kind of so like buffer step. I assume he's trying to stay out slow of vision for game. this. Uh, Here in number like three of this series, Mossu trying to just uh, not get himself in any extra danger. Here he knows that energy dudes like this, to hang this out. This fight and, could uh, end up mattering. Oh, they're going in on Quad. He being behind top lane. Yeah, Quad now going to be your target. I'm guessing Quad's going to die. But we're going to try to cast off of the noises. Okay, looks like Dokla is actually dead. Wait, how did Dokla die? So Quad gets one back here in the one v two trade. So Quad's dead, but I somebody show me how Dokla died. How do you die on a two v one like that? If you're energy, that's not very good. You are not super happy about that one. If you're if you're fly quest, you're loving this. You're having a great time. Yeah, and just really unfortunate. Like, it's, it's like the same thing. Like the, the dragon coming is up go in thirty get the seconds. For free. They had full control. Like the rift herald is going to give some control back to fly quest, but they go That's for crazy, the top lane. It doesn't work out, and they just Quad, like lose everywhere. Even... I'm just down almost five thousand now, man. Five k yeah. at not even nineteen minutes into the game. Kinda, that's, that is insane. Really so tough for energy TP to fight back against. Pretty much to try and fight kill Quad. out in the open, not underneath the turret. Somehow Quad but turns an incredible it. engage angle from that energy. It's going to be almost impossible to win. Dokla. And Flyquests are really well set and up to to spread the map right now. Alpha is not TP now. And you know where he is. You have full vision on him. His ultimate is available. So. Let's Thank see how you. Okay, so let's continually see. Increase this must have been a mistake speed. or something. So oh, look. actually, Dokla's only uh, level 10. Yeah, I don't know if it uh, was live or not, but we saw the after Great flash by Quad, quad to finish that. His flash so actually, Dokla's really far behind because This is Paper Mache Cassante. His health bar just completely drains every oh, three, single yeah, time. Oh, it's three? Yeah, he's he like, he has this one quad item. Quad's damage How is over the top right now. I'm sorry, Quad has two items. I think he had one and a half during the fight. 
I think he's finished the Infinity That guy hurts. Back. The Cassante guy, definitely not hurting. No, yeah. he doesn't hurt that much. He just he's, has a blue glove. He's not that, uh, he's not swinging hard. The, the Twisted Fate advantage over there in gold, pretty massive Sorry. as well. So let's see the push in now. Because topside, they are already able to push up minions to the tower and rotate through the jungle. Looks like even the harassment starts to come through. Uh, you know, with both sent bottom like to go collect so the wave damage. that uh, Dokla has at least pushed up to secondary, though. Yeah, I mean, Quickly used how many turn to help control, and now this force. Baron, especially with the Zyra, is just going to get really oh, scary. Oh, whoa, whoa, so much damage they with the Kraken Slayer. They have to walk in and check this, oh, and it's just going to be like oh, up to Flyquest really to make the picks or start the Baron really or like try make something happen. And I like the fact that the picks because two big of those playmaking items just came online. Inspired with the Rylai's rapid fire cannon on Whippo, both of these can be very effective in securing kills and otherwise you would need just that little bit more to get them. Yeah, they have item leads in a bunch of lanes. Almost all lanes with item leads right now. Two to one completed items. And then even support has completed item advantage with the Warmog's extra move speed coming in. What is up with uh, the cows not Lucio completing as items as well quick? Look for picks. This is another cow that does not have an on. item completed at 20 minutes. Here. Well, and I'm not counting them, boots. All four boots of them is not an even. item. Well, the other thing that I am it looking is, at across you know the table, I mean. you know exactly what I mean. This is guard for contracts. This is going to let him go in and that make that explosive insane. engage without worrying about being instantly blown up move. by Zyra roots into TF Gold Card or Leona or whatever. So if contracts can get a lot of value out of the seekers, there is still so that he's huge got to really respect the fact that he just absolutely gets shredded no matter where he goes. Fun. Yeah, energy right now just trying to keep go farming kind of safely FBI, towards but, towers oh, while kind of playing the dangerous game of keeping enough vision over Baron that you can contest with that all in play that you're talking about where they full send it and try and get try and get a full engage if a commitment towards the Baron you know, actually does occur but here. if they're able to farm up a bit and and uh, kind of slow it down a little bit good, and, and wait, wait for that opportunity as who he gets chunked out looking towards mid um, then you know you you still can't oh, hope for that big explosive Gotta be engage careful. Dokla. Never mind, I lied. Maybe just, Whippo would just uh, get a just little bit too big. aggressive there, trying to Gold attack card runs contract as he went really, really board, fast. Happen, so no potential 2v1 play for the Cassante and, and Diana against that uh, uh, sorry, Flight Quest still up 4,500 gold as Contracts That's loses his That's a hell of a flash by Contracts. As soon as you see that TF Whippo's running in with you that gold card. might be in some trouble. Ooh, contracts just for it for the pulverize, but the contracts doesn't have an ult. Here what was that ult? Finally going to be knocked forward, and contracts goes on a rampage. All right, so good fight overall. Kill. Still, takes one uh, energy is really punishing flight quest for going in. Energy Let's see if they're able to keep that up though. FBI is doing so, so much target. damage. They try to launch Cassante Ooh. forward to the third in Tofos drop. If Douglas would have been able to hit knock him, inspired still slowing these guys down. That's crazy poke. Yeah. A little bit more damage, and it's true. Still just pushing barrage to even up the fight, two for two. So many interesting is, things happening that I need, I need answers to. The Alistar is still in Fog of War. Alistar's... Ooh, Ezreal's too far away. Yep. It's too close to like topside uh, fog of war advantage for FlyQuest, so can't do anything. So but I still want like that. You know, he's looking around. I want somebody to tell me what happened. With contracts is and that there. Place starting out with another contracts Raptor steal into Bwipo. Yeah, they are really the, fighting uh, over these the chickens, by the way. It actually started out quite nice for energy. Were they able to avoid the initial engage? But you know, get, I don't know if uh, needed a flash yeah, there, there, but it ended up working out really good. Really with interesting. Whippo, like, first contracts actually went ended up in there with the ghost and everything. Would have Ooh, made a big I don't know what happened with that ult there, but Palafox so much damage from uh, nice one FBI. FBI. On the quad on the left side. But quad actually manages to take quad out just melts Palafox. It wasn't Honestly, close at all, guys. Let this well for energy, it wasn't close at all. Considered. And then Dokla yeah. here, and, and, almost then beautiful. Here, if you hit so that Q3, and then it's he needs to dodge root. this. He's dead the moment he gets hit by, Slows by him down just first, the, all these abilities. Then hits the root. Man, the Rylai slow enables yeah. it, and then they just poke him down, and that Cassante immediately punished Eventually, again. Eventually, Cassante will be annoying, but right now he's just lane. down so much. Oh, wait! So much, oh, much damage on the contracts! The wall, maybe flash out of this one, but he doesn't he have doesn't any have flash. spells. Palafox finishes the wait, job. Wait, wait, Contracts just walks out. Over, ready to re-engage back Kusio to Kusio. Kusio might be dead. Oh, Kusio is dead! Losing dudes and they're losing Don't lose also dead, though! Has to try to get away so it worked out all right. They're not going to find him the void seeker. Oh, they really need to run away here. They've traded two for one. They got a 4v3 on the map, but their health bars aren't looking so great. Oh, with Quad, with the Quad and Mossu. He gets re! They got a lot of range. They got another kill. Alistair's need to stay support. alive. Two two we need to. <laughs> it's always the extra exit kill for, for FlyQuest. They keep on with their extra range, poking down the last yeah, the melee, from, trying uh, to Corky's run away on the side of energy. So what happens here? Oh, oh, interesting. Hexbox and Lucio. Yeah, looks like Lucio was starting That's up really the play, well and the contracts got the angle onto Whippo. 
Whippo is so low, and, and he just walks out? Palfox crucially no, got no, the, like, no, critical okay. or Kraken auto there to finish Great job off, by Palfox, actually. Looks a lot different. Yeah, that was really close with the proc. And then... Dokla, yeah, you know, uh, I don't actually, I, I really like what Dokla did there. They can't chase down the extra one, so then so trying squishy. to run away. <laughs> if, the if Rylai's that there, there slowed him down so for another missed shot, that and then quad over fight. the wall. Just throwing out rockets, he hit the rockets, yeah. and all three in a row. Well and done by Quad. Blowing just pinpoint accuracy. As trying to run away. Yeah, no, these quirky rockets now, that, that was so a point. hurt a lot. They're on 4k gold. And uh, they, it's going to be I like soul the next dragon that the, comes the up. The Kraken auto from the Tristana that I mean, guarantees the kill sure, on but... Because it's also the big one from Quad that kills off the Alistar. Mm. I think if it was a smaller rocket, he might have been able to live through that. Not 100% sure. But Palafox level 15 here on this Tristana, just only now hitting that level 15. Quad is guys, almost 16 for the maxed out version of those rockets you guys are talking about that are already such a huge problem Alistar still does not have an item. Let's this see is here. insane. Heading over on the Twisted Fate as well. Maybe they're going to look for a in. push mid play here with the support 86 of Twisted Fate. Eighty-six vision score, but no item. It's kind of for energy, so you can see I, them seeding ground imagine. around Baron. And Flyquest trying I'm to playing support use wrong because nobody's bringing this up anywhere. To clear out some of the wards. When is a support supposed to get their first the item? Somebody who is a good support. On top of a couple of control so wards. So not me. Somebody explain this to me. And when should Masu their supports be getting their items? We'll chase FBI and contracts back Ooh, away from the lane. Lots of poke on FBI. Has FBI to use that. ain't gonna kill him, but getting out that uh, cleanse is huge. Oh wait, Dokla's just taking some damage. Solar flare to follow it off. Dokla's just dead. Down the wait, AD wait, Dokla's just dead. Top lane what was that? The price. Dokla falls and Masu goes on a killing spree. Maybe he did that in the that hopes of saving FBI. That is a big frontline element of this energy comp, no longer available. And FlyQuest sees their green light to start the Baron. Uh, you know, yeah, I, don't I think know that's a really I... crucial pick to find on the side of FlyQuest. Oh, yeah, the last few fights, like, Never mind. haven't been going I was going to say, this, this is kind of a dangerous the Baron. They, they don't have this guarantee. The jungler's on, alive. So. And like Contract has been playing really well. Great ult by Contract. Great knock by Huhi. Oh, Whippo, though. Whippo's doing so much damage. Contract was chunks. Contract golden trying to stay alive for an extra second. Quad is alive with, like, negative 4 health. And Huhi thought he might have been able to kill him with just the burn. A double kill back over to Whippo. The only person alive now is the cow. It's him and Busio. So Whippo. either he's always oh, dead or he's the only one who remains alive at the end of the fight. Quad still has his TP. I'm he's gonna really, go back really the surprised that Quad didn't die there. He was on such Baron a low Q. health total. Now he rejoins. <laughs> now he's got some extra health. Now FlyQuest so yeah, Fly is wearing Quest. purple. And this so again, is all I think the Baron is a little, little, little you know, kind of dangerous. They get but the, a tiny the turn bit of, on the fight was beautiful. And they were able to really make it work. Gold card from the Twisted Fate that forces the cleanse, and then Dokla walks around, and so they get the actual oh, kill just a little on bit the front line, line, allowing for this. And an, oh wait, it was just a good zero too. And again, Hit both of the carries. A work there. There's and not a lot you can do there actually. As well. And then and Whippo just chases down all the all the, the gold cards. Carry. Yeah, big performance from Whippo. Actually, that was a lot of damage. Fight, just dealing with both of so those So even though Whippo clearly again, won that quad, fight, that was so much damage quad off, off of but that just from Palafox. That slight little bit of damage that they didn't have, and who he realized Look, he couldn't do anymore, gold. so he had to run away. Drags up in Energy two now minutes. down 7,000 gold. Flash Actually, Drag's going to be off as the Baron's they are ending. They are going to have Baron all so the way through the duration of this next Drake summon timer, so they can control the Rift for the next two minutes, then immediately translate that over into a soul. Energy's job is tough right now. It's certainly is. I mean, these Twisted Fate picks are so difficult to deal with. Uh, with the Dead Man's play like, for the mobility and the crazy Rapid Fire good Cannon. Fight here. Yep. Whipple there just creating so much offensive pick power. Walking around threateningly oh. into Leona ultimate that does land at tower. Oh, he's just dead. He's already dead from the strangle thorns. Looks like they're gonna follow it up with another one almost Wait. on Dokla. How, how does Zara do that with Sante. damage? But with the enemy carry dead with the top oh layer, my God. Is that's just game, right? It's so easy for FlyQuest to just strong arm their way into this base. No, 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 okay, FlyQuest not down. Gonna be able to FlyQuest are not done. They are looking for Nexus turret. I'd be surprised if they finish, the front. He's gonna get stunned up before we can do anything. That first Nexus turret still in trouble. Whippo having a flash away. He is coming up, but a really even bad that, spot I don't know there from the headbutt out of the Alistar. Boosio wow. underneath the turret, looking to tank up oh, that wait. aggro as Whippo goes on oh, a killing wait. spree. Oh, wait. Quads are so much damage with those rockets. I, I was like, oh, who? He's really no just tanking these. The picture. Dokla trying to stay oh, alive. Oh, Dokla's dead here, but too. But this is the squishiest Cassante I have ever seen. Yeah, Quads Dokla's dead here, too. And energy are on their last uh, legs. Contracts uh, again with the stasis, just trying to make some sort of a They do just end the game here. attempt, but it ain't going to work. FlyQuest bringing back those reinforcements. Kind of look close for a little while. FBI Quad is insane with this. Uh, Palafox wants to get on out. Quad needs one with more rocket. Corky. He's still chasing. It doesn't even matter that he doesn't get it because the Nexus is yeah, under that's, fire. That's super, Fly super Quest game. with an 11,000 uh, gold lead. They waited to see if Quad would be able to get it. Minutes into the game, win the series.
All right, so FlyQuest yeah, was favored, but I will say NOG put up a hell of a fight. It, it was a Baron, super fun series. Game it was really, so, really good so game two. And honestly, I think they had a chance game three. Doing a lot of work, I think FlyQuest kind of was the able to AD carries, finish continue it at the end there, flowers. but... I don't think we're going to see a deviation from this meta for a while. Yeah, yeah, the double, really really good. The double AD carries with that, AD. Uh, The fact that they lane swapped and it turned into something different... Because right, if they didn't lane swap there, they might have lost worse, but I always kind of have that question of, so let's see here. That one. And you know what I mean? Because Cassante here is just, I mean, Cassante was squishy all game. There was multiple times where he just was a level down, sometimes multiple levels down. So there's always that question of if they had drafted slightly differently, so they weren't just so abused in this early game, would it, you know, would it have really turned out like this? You know what I mean? Look at this. Level 4 quad, level 1 Dokla. Zero farm. Right? Like, it makes... Uh, you're, you're looking at it later on, seeing that this Cassante just absolutely gets murdered over and over again. But it is. It's like that idea of you lost the draft. You had the lane swap, or you feel like you're going to lose the fight. Because you lose bot lane. Uh, you know, Kaisen Alistair doesn't really compete with Ezreal Leona. You lose to a top because there's no way you're thinking Dokla's going to be able to compete with Cassante uh, against Whippo's TF. So you, you're forced to do the lane swap, and from there you just kind of, you're unable to win the game. Too many resources are in FlyQuest's uh, pocket later on into this game. You know, they're, they're up far, or they're up gold almost this whole time. I don't know if there's a point where they're down gold. Uh, so at this point, they're even. You know what I mean? But this is... This is super, super early. It's two minutes into the game. Yeah, I don't think there's ever a point where NRG was ahead in gold. And it, that all kind of stemmed from that, that forced lane swap. Anyway, it was super good. I am excited to jump right on. Away we go.